Hey guys, it is about 4 p.m. Pacific. We are going to go ahead and start pregame. Uh, Quibus Maximus should be uh, streaming in probably about, uh, let's say, 45 minutes to an hour. He's just now uh, getting moving, so we're going to let him eat and come back to the world, and we will get started with pregame. How is everyone doing so far? It looks like we have maybe... 50 people in the chat? Most of you are lurking, which absolutely nothing wrong with lurking. I see Unbuilt Microbe. Howdy. Zephyr, of course. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, let's see who else we got. I've got mods. Aaron, Donkey, and Jermaze are lurking. 100 Saitama is doing a lurky lurk so is cannibal loco i've got Dorot. i don't know why i like Dorot's name it's a very cool name uh fox kincaid is chilling out so is hyper of course we've got malarthy and my and oh, who else do we got in here sparkling milk i love that name that's a good one so is you i was ubiquitous swedish Fish. Ubiquitous Swedish fish. Wonderful, wonderful name. Hope everyone has had a lovely Wednesday. If you hear any, uh, as always, if you hear any noise behind me, it's I've got a fan going on. I have a TV show on for Zoe to kind of occupy her while she chews on a bully stick. And I'm also calling in through the panel. Uh, if you look at Queeb's screen, I am the panel on the left, which means I'm on the phone, which means there is interference, which means I am sorry. Please don't hate me, but if there is any problems, let me know. And I might have to uh, log out and uh, call back in. I also have a fan going like in the in the background i have to this house does not have any kind of uh there's no central air and there's not enough windows that you can actually put like a box like a a, a window fan in and it's just it luckily we're in southern california so it's it, it's not terrible but it is you know it, it, it's gonna be an issue in june it will absolutely be an issue in June. Ooh, I just got an Amazon delivery. Hold on a second. I am going to see if um, Zoe's uh, arthritis treats came in. Hold on a second. I know, terribly exciting, terribly exciting stuff, but we're just getting started. Okay, so let's see. It is a beautiful 69 degrees. That's what she said. Um, here in Southern California, we have something called, uh, it's like, it's called like May Gloom or something where um, I'm from North Texas, so we're used to like 100 degree weather starting like late April, sometimes even the beginning of April. And it's just, it, it's like, <sighs> it's so bad. It's just like a hammer that just hits you every single day. Um, but luckily, every place out there has air conditioning and everyone has air conditioning. So you're really only in the heat whenever you're going from your car to inside or vice versa. Out here during this May gloom, it's been overcast almost every single day. 
since the end of April. There have been a couple of days of sunshine. If the sun comes out, it is much later in the day, which is great because it's keeping the, the house cool. Amazing. Which is absolutely fantastic. Um, we do have heat waves. Please ignore noises. I'm opening Zoe's box because she's like, there's something in there for me, bitch. Um, there is, uh, I mean, we get terrible heat waves. We, I want to say we get like three or four heat waves and they're like, okay, it's not terrible, terrible by like Texas or Arizona standards. It's maybe nine, like 95, 98, right? If you're in the Valley, it's closer to a hundred, maybe even get over a hundred. Um, the problem is that out here there is not, um, a, uh, there's not a lot of breeze when that happens. It's just, it, it's ridiculous. What does Unbuilt say? In Ireland, we only get one season, never hot, never cold, always raining. I die for some heat, I miss the lack of sun holiday. Malarthy laughs in greater San Francisco Bay Area heat waves. Um... Oh, he all oh, Queeb's Queeb is gonna love this. I have to hide this from him because he'll eat all of them. I got him some snacks, and they actually got here today. Um, he's had them before. Um, I actually would like us to move to the Pacific Northwest, and honestly, I'm I'm kind of looking forward to not having the fucking sun beaming down on me. Just, just actually having weather out here, for the most part, it's generically nice. The weather pretty much stays within like, you know, it's like ambient. It's fine. And then you have like a little, you'll have rain storms sprinkled in there. And it's very brief. Um, or it's completely overcast and then you'll have like heat waves. But other than that, it, it's just the same thing every day. The rain is not consistent. There, There is a rainy season, but it's like January or February. And it's like, it rained three times in two weeks. That, that's it. That, that's the rainy season. Okay, so we got... Zoe's arthritis tree to help with her knees. I got a new scale for the for the noodle puppies because the other one was just kind of busted. And um, they need a slightly bigger one because they're getting bigger. Huxley officially weighs over a pound, which is crazy. It's, it's so fucking crazy how big he is. And Faye is three quarters of a pound. She'll probably hit a pound by the end of the month. Rainy season is January 1st to January 3rd, if you want more to it. Pretty, pretty much, that's, uh, that's how it is out here. Oh, Zoe, these, these are stanky. But she's like, give. Okay, hold on. Oh, I know, hold on, babe. Let me see if there is a range on here. The range is, I get as many as I want. Oh, you totally luck out. 80 pounds and over six chews. Oh, girl. Yeah. Oh, wait, what does that say? Double the daily amount for the first three weeks. Oh, shit. Uh-oh, I don't think she likes it. Oh, man, I hope she likes these. Um, Zoe is a Staffordshire. A, oh, you like it? Yes, good. Okay, let's give you another one. She has an American Staffordshire. Uh, we, well, I guess I, because I actually adopted Zoe first, um, like six months before I, I even started talking to Queeb. She, uh, she was labeled as a pit mix. Good job. And they're like, yeah, she's 12 weeks old and she's, um, she was like 15 pounds. They had to hold her overnight to spay her. And I went back the next day to pick her up. And when I, I picked her up, um, I already had like the largest dog I had at the time was like 30 pounds. So I wanted a dog that was somewhere around 
33 pounds, maybe 40 pounds. And so when I went back the next day to get Zoe, they were like, yeah, we, we made a mistake. She's not 12 weeks old. She's seven weeks old. And she weighs 20 pounds. I'm like, oh, shit. Um, Zoe was over 35 pounds by the time she was 11 weeks old. Um, she So she was spayed when she was seven weeks old. You're not supposed to spay large breed dogs when they're that young. It does, uh, it does hurt their hips and they will have joint problems and that is what is going on with Zoe. There was this moment whenever she was maybe, she had to have been 12 weeks old and her back legs just stopped working. It's like, it, it was it was like a switch flipped. And it, like, like her back legs would not work at all. And I told the vet, like I called the vet, I'm like, oh my God, there's something wrong. And they're like, yeah, dogs just sometimes don't want to walk. They sometimes don't want to use their legs. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. Queeb came in and was asking questions. Um, unbuilt. She was spayed by the shelter. And it was actually a large, it was actually the Dallas uh, animal shelter. So I, I don't know if they, they take their chances because they're, they have the dog there. They might as well spay. No idea. Um, Okay. Um, yeah, so her back legs literally for a day would not work. Um, I called a vet, a local vet, that I was going to take her to. And I'm like, yeah, she, you know, she probably just doesn't want to walk. Her, her ability came back, but ever since then, she's had problems with her hips. Uh, two vets diagnosed her with hip dysplasia, and then recently I took her to um, a vet at the place where we we took Teddy every week, and she's like, yeah, her hips are fine. She actually has knee problems. Put her on glucosamine and omega-3, and she should be fine, so it was just, you know. So ever since then, Zoe has problems walking. She'll, she'll you know, she kind of walks like she's drunk sometimes. <laughs> Which would be, you know, cute if she's only 20 pounds, but she's like, you know, 80. I don't even know how to pronounce your name. Doi Bai? Doi Bai? I, those are magnificent emotes. Hold, please. I need to see where these emotes come from. Frost? Oh, the, those are so cute! Oh my god, those are amazing! And of course, like, you know, the current Pog Champ is just, you know, brilliant. Thank you so much for resubbing. Totally appreciate that. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm 
I kind of don't want you to sub because I'm I'm still a little scared of this Isaac co-op, but we're just gonna we're gonna power through it. We're gonna we're gonna deal with it. Zef, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, I'm super stoked about the new baby. Let me actually see if her well, I guess their breeder has uh, updated. He's normally really good, like, um, he'll tell me whenever he feeds them. And I know that it, all of them, all of the babies in the clutch would not eat their first meal. And it took them a couple of days and then they ate. So right now we're, we're kind of waiting for them to get, I think he's doing five meals before he releases them, I think. So it's just waiting game, which gives us plenty of time because we, we have to make enough money to pay for at least one extra enclosure because we weren't counting on getting two babies. Um, when they were both girls, I was actually going to cohab them. You're not supposed to cohab uh, snakes except under very specific circumstances if that breed or if that species doesn't allow for it. Ball pythons, you can cohab if they are the same size and if they are young and these two were like same clutch so i was going to give it a shot but i can't do that because i'm getting a little boy which is great like i'm i'm stoked i'm i'm so happy that i'm getting a little boy the boys are so much nicer and they're they're much more like puppy dogs like think about huxley like his personality is a typical ball python personality and uh and Faye is just a typical girl, ball python personality. <laughs> She's just, she does her own thing. It, it, uh, like, that's it, that, that it's just, it's her. I actually think they're both, um, they're both going into shed because they, they have not moved at all. Like both them and Queeb are sleeping the exact same way. I'm having to make sure they're breathing. One hundred Saitama, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Have a really good night. We'll see you later, okay? Unbuilt says, "How bad can Isaac be?" That's a future misquake problem. <laughs> I was thinking about this in the in the car earlier when I was uh, going to uh, the market to get food for Queef. I I know only a smattering of what the Binding of Isaac series is about. Like, I, I know, like, an overview. And even at one point, Queeb was like, they talk about tarot cards. You know tarot cards. So you should like it. And I'm like, oh, okay. It, 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 there's no correlation. So that's in the first place. The second place, I don't understand the gameplay at all. Wow. If you didn't hear that, that was my husband saying that my dog knows more about the binding of Isaac than I do. And what's sad is he's probably right. I can't really argue with that. <laughs> um, I, uh, what is that? I felt really bad if I'm not going to have some injured bad parking lot. Oh, Seth, that's awful. Yeah, like all you can really do in those situations is look for a local rehabber. I mean, th there are civilians who are trained to be rehabbers, and you can normally, like, find one, but they're, they're difficult. That's super sad. Um, hold on, I'm being... I'm, I'm having someone bellow at me, and he wants me to actually walk to him instead of come to me to ask me.
Okay. Um, yeah, so I don't understand the game. I don't understand the game play and the, the mechanics. I I haven't played on a with a controller in in I will say easily two decades, and um, I am purposely not researching the game. I'm not trying to make it as difficult as possible on myself, but I don't want to overwhelm myself myself with information. Because I know Queeb is going to be like, okay, well, this is what this is, and this is what this, and and I I don't want to have any conflicting information. And I'm not dealing with it, so it's it's going to be an adventure. I am overwhelmed, but I can do my best, and that's all I can do. And Zeph says, "Don't think it could be rehabbed." A squirrel, a squirrel shredded its wing. Squirrels. Oh, they are devious little creatures. They really are. I mean, second player only needs to dodge, shoot, or maybe collect stuff over... See, I don't know what any of that means. I don't want to know. Because I will forget in between now and then, and it will... It will add on to my stress, so it's it's cool. But I, I'm, uh, I kind of feel the same way about potentially going into uh, WoW Classic Burning Crusade. I don't remember how to play it, it. That's that was forever long ago. I don't even know if they're if they're reverting back to. Um... Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you. Hi. I'll tell everybody you said hi. Are you wanting more liver treats? Yeah, they're really stinking. I literally just washed my hands, bro. Um, but yeah, at least at least with WoW Classic, I mean, there's there is some familiarity in there. Like fucking Eversong, like I lived in Eversong forever, and Tranquilian. Oh my god, that was like my zone. So there is comfort. Um. But yeah, this is probably the first video game that I've, I have I have played with with like I I haven't watched trailers. I I watch I don't watch Quaid play, but I'm in like how to explain it. I I see him playing it. I still don't understand what the fuck he's doing. I I don't know like this thing about like what character do you want me to play and what what like whatever like I don't understand any of that. So it's um, it's gonna be a treat. I tried playing um, uh, uh, Senua's Sacrifice. I, I don't know how to say the title. Uh, it's like a video game that's kind of like based on um, it's like Viking, etc. And it's a video game that actually is a, supposedly a very good representation of mental illness. And. My monitors are too big, oversized, um, old school Mac monitors. Like the, they're like they're huge monitors. So you would think, oh yeah, that's that's great. You have like a lot of room, and that's like it looks so nice and everything. They're old, and they are terrible for um, for draining power. It, it's like it, it's it's horrendous. Um, so I tried playing on one of those, and the way that the camera sits behind your character, you can't change it. The camera sits behind your character's shoulders, so you you are literally submerged into whatever's going on. You cannot, like, you can zoom in a tiny bit and zoom out a tiny bit, but you are stuck there. And I actually had to walk away from playing it. One, because the controller I was using was just, it was not working at all. And, uh, and two, it, it was just, I couldn't, it was too scary. Jermay says, I loaded up the TBC Classic pre-patch last night, mixed feelings. I've heard that. Uh, I, I actually told Queeb this. I've, I, I used to watch, like, Bellular and Talias and Avatel, and I used to watch, like, all of these people who would do breakdowns of the, um, of Warcraft bullshit. And I haven't 
It's May. I probably... This is the longest I have not had a sub an active subscription. I think I killed mine probably April of last year. Um, but I, I've had a subscription since 2007. And I just... Ugh, I haven't watched any of the, the breakdown videos of anything. I randomly watched one the other day and they're like, yeah, um, it's basically pay for play now. Fuck this shit. Like people were really upset about it. So I'm not, um, I'm not sure. I, I, I don't, I don't have any, any friends who still play. I'm not in a guild, obviously. Um, the last time I logged into my, uh, my uh what wh wh what are they actually calling regular world of warcraft are they calling that retail or what the last time i logged in my guild had already kicked me so it's not like i can ask them <laughs> yes retail thank you yeah just uh it, it's i i would basically be starting from scratch which is actually more than uh, or less rather than what I did back in 2007. I actually started playing because of my boyfriend at the time. He was like a hardcore raider in, um, in one of the top guilds and that was kind of my introduction to it, and I think that also ruined how I played because I would, um, I, I saw what he and his guild did to prepare for raids, and a, a raiding guild is much different than a, a regular guild or even a casual guild, so it was, a, it was an experience, but even back then, I did have a, a foundation of having someone sitting there explaining everything to me. I had seen guilds, uh, seen the guilds do uh, level up runs, and I actually had the the luxury of getting gold sent to me. Like I started off the game with like ten thousand gold as a noob. Loved my all rounder shaman build so much fun. I I liked shamans, so I started off as a paladin. I was a blood elf paladin. I loved it. It was it was magnificent. I didn't know it at the time, but it was incredibly OP. Incredibly. And I was able to get to 40 or 60. One of the two. Like I hit a milestone and that's when they um they nerfed it and I ended up having to switch to I switched to a beast mastery hunter just because it got so difficult um they basically changed like all of the um the gameplay for it it, it was almost a completely different game than when I had originally started I rolled hunter for several years and then um the last several years I've been a uh Night Elf Druid. Normally Balanced Druid. Um, just so I can, I can stay range. What the hell was that noise? Let's see. I don't even understand why this makes noise. Uh, let's see. Jermay says, I mainline a priest. I've tried getting into to priest and like I, I like the idea of a, a holy priest. But it was just I was too squishy. I, I was absolutely too squishy, too vulnerable. And I don't like dying in the game. I don't like dying in any game. Like it 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 hurts my soul to die in a game. Which is probably why I haven't played as, as many video games as I wanted. Yeah, paladins were crazy back then, right? Like, they were... Oh my god, they were so insane. Like, what was that called? Oh my god, these memories. What was that called? Um...
Was it? No. Oh, God. What? 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 What's? Motherfuck. What? What is it called? I don't even know how to fucking explain it. What? What was the? The PVP. It wasn't winter spring. Was it? It wasn't like winter's grasp or anything. That's how long ago it's been since I played. I don't even remember. The one that that's like dwarven. You know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, I I was running it like a whole uh, like I was the the smallest level in that run by easily nine levels like I, I it was me and I was healing up people even using heals as a secondary I was so overpowered that I could heal people that that just had like tens of thousands of HP it, it was insane how OP I was and they took that away from me and it was so sad if I could go back to those days, if if I could get those days, potentially, that would be amazing. I had one at level 40 for a while, Pendulum of Doom 4.0. Attack speed, Brett spec, could one-shot most enemies, couldn't remember. Yeah, what the? What is it called? Let's see, WoW, BG. I need to see pictures. Yeah, it was Winter's Grass, right? You had to like go up all into the mountains and they were like, it was snowy and everything. Yeah, like it, it was insane, it, but it was, it was so good. It was so good. Uh, I wouldn't, I would rarely die because, um, because I was healing everybody. So they would, they would like guard me pretty well and uh they would res me super fast like i and i was almost always like top healer and i'm not saying that to brag because i was a noob i'd only been playing the game for maybe a year or so at that point but that's just how op paladins were they were just it, stupid combat rogues were another one yeah like was it entirely amazing to to play a paladin that powerful? Absolutely. Do I understand, or, or rather, do I do I think it was okay that the uh, essentially what was OP was whatever the developers were playing? Yeah, it was kind of bullshit, but you know, it, it's Blizzard. I wouldn't expect anything different. Zoe and Queeb are having a love fest. That must be nice. What is that like? I was told to tell you that he is going to attempt to hurry. Attempt will be made.
I don't even know how to say your name. Anton Ritinki. Anton Ritinki. I don't know. I don't know how to say that, but Anton, hi. Hello. Um, let's see. Oh, Anton, I, you best believe I am going to Discord to look at animals. That's what we do here. Sent a dog. Where is the dog? Show me the dog. Show me the dog. What is that dog? The little white and black dog? Is that yours? Because that is the most amazing looking dog. <laughs> Oh, it's perfect. I love it. Thank you so much for posting it. That's amazing. <laughs> Seth, like that, the new sub goal, I think it's amazing. I think it should, like a sub goal should be of like, let's say five. Let's say five. <laughs> because I really want to do it. <laughs> I think it would be so cute. Like, who who do we put in that first? I I think that should be it. Like like who who gets to wear the unicorn hat? Everyone's probably going to vote for Faye because everybody loves Faye. Nobody Coxie. He's like my favorite. He's such a baby. Anton, thank you so much for posting your dog. It's like just so amazing, so cute. Dogs, I guess any kind of animal is one of those things where it's just like, if you're having a bad day, you see a picture of someone's animals, like, yeah, yeah. Someone came in, a few people came in because Aaron was streaming, um, she was showing pictures or uh, a live stream of her dog and someone came in and they're like, I am here for the dog. Anton, yes, definitely. Um, if you go to the an your animal side on the sidebar in the Discord, uh, we've been spamming that with all of our animal pics. Feel free to load it up. We will absolutely love every single photo that you would like to share with us. You guys, Erin is still trying to figure out what to name her dog. We have to help her with names. We need to give her good, but not common names. And that's my role, that's not hers. But she's part of the family, so we need to take care of this. All of K2's animals, Jesus. Like, just give me all of the animals of the babies. I want to see them all. Tay is cute, but you would absolutely have to get into the um, the habit of of explaining to people how to spell it if uh, if they saw it written down and it was someone you saw in person. I'm literally doing like 44 things at once. I'm attempting to do tech support. Can't say who it's for because she might be listening. And I'm just like, I'm not into this. Um, let's see. It doesn't say you sent 
and you didn't send it. Just Sam's Twitch. Hi, Sam. How are you? Uh, Pweeb is... Oh, it's 444. He is hustling to get ready. Oh, I'm sorry. He's, he just said he's getting beautiful for you, Sam. He's getting beautiful for you. So if I found a couple more pictures of common, I'll throw those up too. Thank you very much. Definitely appreciate all the pictures of Comet. Anton, yes, Anton is posting pictures of his guinea pig. Yes, that's amazing. Oh my god, I want I want guinea pigs so bad. I do, but I I don't want to be that cruel. Uh, because my daughter kept thinking she was sweeter than sweet tea, which is weird because I'm not southern. No wonder I care for sweet tea. You can still name her after that. Oh, Anton, that I'm so sorry. That's awful. I'm so sorry. If you'd still like to post pictures, you absolutely can. And and we will we would definitely love to honor your baby by looking at, at those pictures. Um, really, have you uh, are you coming from YouTube or from TikTok? Aaron is correct. We do need two baby names. Um, so I think I've, no, I haven't. Have I? I think I've typed it. I don't think I've verbally said it. Huxley's name wasn't supposed to be Huxley. Um, I have, I have a list of snake names that, that I like, I just add to it. And, um, anytime I see someone, um, have something, I just add it to the list. A uh, Queeb named Huxley uh, after Aldous Huxley, the author, and he. If I didn't like it, I could have put my foot down and said no, but I didn't do that. I went ahead and I said, "Okay, let's let's name him Huxley." Uh, I don't like it because of my accent. I kind of slur over Huxley, um, so I just I just call him Huxley. Theora is named after uh, one of General Zod's partners slash wives. We mutually agreed on that. Teddy, looking at him, he's he he was Teddy. Like that that was his name. Like he was Teddy. And as soon as Queeb said, "Yeah, yeah," like you know, I guess that's the best name for him. Like it it was literally within a day. He's like, "That's actually the perfect name for him." Um, so I think what we might do is just make sure that the snakes don't have terrible names and just name whatever. He'll he'll have a little girl to name and I'll have a little boy. And that'll be great. It'll be fantastic. Um, I will probably stay in the realm of sci-fi slash space opera. Just because that's that's kind of my jam and that's what Huxy was going to be named. Um, no clue what uh uh, what Queeb is going to want to name the little girl. We actually haven't had that talk yet. Anton, you did come from Twitch. You don't have an accent to me. Do we have an accent? I do have an accent. I do. Um, I have a weird accent. My, uh, my parents are... My father's Cajun, my mother is from Louisiana, and my, uh, I grew up in Texas, and my husband is an Australian who lived in London for a while, so my accent's just kind of all over the place. Anton, he was very cute. Absolutely. Is Queeb trying to get the longest sabbathon in Twitch history? I don't know. I don't even know what number that is. Um, I was reading up on... I don't think it was Ludwig. I think it was somebody else. Someone is coming up to... Um, someone is going to have uh, 
I think it is Ludwig. He said he needed like, and this was back at the end of April, he needed about six weeks and then he was going to attempt to do like a 60 day subathon. I think that's what I read. Or rather, I think he was the person that I was reading about. Um, I'm not sure what the longest subathon is, but for Queeb, he he's doing 30 days. But to be completely honest, after like the subathon, he will probably continue to stream as much as he is. He is really enjoying it. He might back off just a tiny bit and uh, have regular meals <laughs> and, and actually get to sleep in the bed as opposed to the couch. And I know the couch is comfortable. I was telling you that the couch out here is comfortable too. You didn't believe me. Well, there we have it. He's going to continue sleeping on the uh, on the left seat. Don't notice that I'm Irish, Scottish, and was born in Shreveport, Louisiana. You know, for the most part, those are some good people. Like, my family's kind of batshit crazy, but he, uh, that, that whole area, like, in general, the people are nice. Uh, it's a good accent, definitely. Um, he's in the, he's in the bathroom, and anytime I say something, he's like, what, what is? What's a good accent? What is? Louisiana accent. Yes. It is. Oh my god. Save me. Please save me. Save me from this hell. Creole is a very unique accent. Yes. It is absolutely. So the couch in the living room has a love seat in it. I, I sleep so well on it. It's so comfortable. I love it. And it gets cool enough in here. Queep likes the uh, the room to be way too hot for me to be comfortable. I lived in Michigan for a while now, so I've got all sorts. What is a Michigan accent? It's not the same as a, as a Scani accent, right? Like that's... Scani's a bit more like nasally. Jesus fucking Christ, someone save me. Did you just hear that? Did did you hear that? He just said the best Creole accent. I'm this is a direct quote. The best Creole accent was John Voigt in Anaconda. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> yes, please post your animal picture so I can escape from this hell. Please, please, please. Aaron, you're just going to have to get used to it now. Like, you're going to have to learn how uh, to eat things that are not in wrappers. Like, I'm not jo <laughs> joking at all. Um, even now, there are times where I will, I might go without eating, or I will eat something that I didn't really want to eat, but I need to eat. But it was the only thing I had that was not noisy to like get to or actually eat, if that makes any sense. Do you listen? I do listen to Red Hot Chili Peppers, but the, like the, I, I don't know. I'm gonna have. Hold on, we're gonna, we're gonna do. We're gonna do a search because I need to hear. Okay, I muted it so you guys couldn't hear my loud ass typing on my mechanical keyboard. Um, Let me, let me see if this can work. So I have my wired headphones in my earbuds in my ears for my phone that I'm talking through. And I have my over ear 
headphones on top of my ears for my computer so I can hear. Do you have a Michigan accent? The person from Michigan is called a Michigander. I actually knew that. Okay, give me something good. Okay. He's still just, just saying shit. This is a horrible example video. <laughs> this example video, it's like, do you have a Michigan accent? Here's examples of our accent. And she says, for example, we have Kroger and Meyer. Someone with a Michigan accent would say Kroger's or Meyer's. Like, no, bitch, shut up. Things Michigander say. Okay, let's try that one. Put an ask Joanne's, not Joanne. Oh, but Texans say that too. I swear, but, 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 but. I think this goes in with the whole Mandala effect because I swear to God that the Kroger down the street from my house growing up was a Kroger's. I, sw I swear to you, there was an S. All of us, we swear, like everyone at my school, we swear there was an S. No, it's Kroger. Like what? Like, no, 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 no. The Michigan accent. Oh, do I really sound weird? Michigan accent. Okay, let's hear it, girl. Fifty people show us their state's accents. Okay, well let's let's try this because so far I have yet to hear anything. You're literally gonna make me scroll through the whole fucking video. You didn't put tags on your video. Oh, so oh my god, commenters who put time tags. Oh my god, those are the real MVPs. Michigan three forty five. That was that was like I couldn't even tell anything. Learn the ac the Michigan accent for places. Oh, I know this. We're learning places. <laughs> the example he just gave was. I'm gonna drive my Pony at Grain Am. <laughs> it's so great, I love it. It's perfect. Hold on, let me. Okay, I'm gonna drop the video in the comments. This guy, he's he's perfect. He's 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 perfect. Is this reference is going to completely you date me? Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Yes. <laughs> and y'all can hear him too. Oh my God. <laughs> he waits until I'm in the middle of talking and he's just like, hey, do you remember that one time? I love him though. I do love him. Um, so I don't want to date myself, but is is the Michigan accent, is it the Da Bears accent? Is that what it is? Like I know that, that that's like more of a Chicago accent, but is it like the same the same sort of nasally kind of inflection?
Okay. <laughs> Please, you need to see the animal. I do need to see the animals. Thank you. Let's see. Zeph, I need to know what kind of dog that is because I need to know what kind of dog I'm about to kidnap. Please and thank you. Anton, I'm so sorry for your loss. He, he was actually really cute. And the dog, oh my god, the dog is so cute. Is your dog a Papillon? Yeah. Those are such cute dogs. Thank you so much for sharing those photos. I appreciate it. Husky Lab Mix. I, I've i thought about getting a Husky Mix. However, um, both my husband and my current dog are extremely loud when they want to be, and I don't need a dog howling over them because he cannot get his way. You know how we talked about like Aries kitchen and Taurus office? Like I'm going through that with, with, uh, with DMs right now. It's just like, Sagittarius DMs is what we're gonna call it. It's just just fucking chaos. I don't know why everyone is like there's there's a lot of chaos today and I don't know why. Did I not take meds? No, I deliberately did not take medicine today. I wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to be chaotic, and thus, it is. And <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I know what you're going through. Absolutely. I just randomly get kicked and brought back in. I randomly got this message that says, Welcome to the chat room. I haven't left. Like I'm I'm there. I'm I'm there. One picture with his tongue sticking out. Hold on, let me see. Like, the, uh, that dog is magnificent. Like, I want to smell his toes. Like, I, I want to smell his toes. I, I need to smell the Frito smell. There are people who have been lurking in this chat who are listening to my voice right now, and they are like, there's an ad playing, and I don't know where the ad is playing. And I'm sorry. I do apologize. This is something we do every day. It's the pregame. We are exceptionally late. I love Hugh. Yes, this is the... This is the female queen! <laughs> pre-game! Pre-game! It's a pre-game! Yes. It is the pre-game. I need my own logo. I need my- like... Don't laugh at me. Or- or laugh. It's fine. I would never know. Hold on, let me take this. I need to remove the- the, uh, over earphones, because I was hearing an echo. Maybe it's because I grew up in Texas and I grew up like when I was in middle 
middle school, the Cowboys went to the Super Bowl multiple times. So maybe that's why this is in my head. But my theme music for my pregame show should be the NFL theme music. Yay or nay? Like, just yay or nay me. Let me know. Your logo should be blue since we I... I was actually working on something in uh, in Canva, and uh, I was going to go with like a an '80s retro theme because my um, my unofficial theme over on my Twitch channel, where I do not stream, is uh, Baby Sinclair from Dinosaurs. <laughs> I was gonna go with like a, like a teal with pink, but yeah, that's a good idea. Zev, thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. We'll see you tomorrow. Maybe? Potentially? JB, hi. Thank you for peeking. Appreciate it. Um, Queeb finally got in the shower. Finally. So you, you guys should see him imminently. Then we'll, we'll talk for a bit. And then uh, you guys will probably be on the game, I would say, by like 6 o'clock. Probably mostly just away one Friday and one can Yes, that's amazing. For real. Like, definitely come back. Please come back soon. Uh, so, let me see. If he's in the shower right now... Yeah, he will probably be on... Eh. We're gonna say, like... 540 potentially uh definitely come back uh if you if you want to jet out of here and come back soon he will be playing all night it will be a long night uh make sure you get your snackies go to the bathroom if it's going to be big time bathroom adventure you might want to go ahead and do that now Anton, thank you so much for hanging out with us. So it's uh, very cool of you. Please come back anytime. Absolutely. Feel free to uh, give us more pics and we will see you soon. Super quiet. And to be really honest, I'm enjoying it. It's there. There is a lot of chaos on this channel sometimes. I, and it's... Uh, I think it's almost because the channel is generally just chill vibes. Steph says I gotta be up at 1.30 in the morning to get ready for work. But yeah, I mean that... I... I the last... The last corporate place I worked at, I took the 6 to 3 shift. Which meant I was having to get up at like 4, 4.30, which is nowhere near as early as 1.30. But it was, it was an adjustment having to learn to go to bed at 7. Um, like, be on my way to Sleepy Town by 7. It was just, I couldn't do it. I just, I felt, I felt like I was missing everything. But at the same time, I was getting off work earlier. So, you know. What else we got going on? Let me see.
Hey there, sorry about that. Queed is actually finishing up. Um, I actually don't get to talk to him. <laughs> like, I, the time that he's off screen, he is eating or he's in the shower or like in the bathroom. And that's it. We don't really get, we haven't spoken in almost, almost a week. So whenever we can grab a few minutes here, there we can. Let's, um, let's go back to chat super, super quick. This is the last call for, uh, for pregame topics. Uh, we're going to keep it super light, super happy today, super chill. It is a Wednesday. After all, you still got to make it through two more days, girl. Two more days at work and you're done. If you hear whining, that's, uh, that's Zoe. I'm, I'm not facing her, so she is upset. Esfrak, hi, how's it going? Hi, queeps, yes. <laughs> we are, I guess we are, uh, plural. Yes. And easy about the quote I'm about to get for the tree removal, otherwise stoked about the subathon. I am so sorry about your tree removal BS. I've had to do that. It's not fun at all. Uh, a previous landlord made me deal with everything and he just paid for it and it was, I will never again do that if I don't own the house. Mod, you were working for a hundred hours? Uh, I don't know how to answer that. Um, personally, I'm on during the day, every day. I normally come on, eh. The earliest I've been on is nine, like the latest is 11, but I'm in chat for a little bit. And I am I go straight through until maybe 30 minutes to an hour after Queep starts. So that's, I don't know. Let's count on like eight hours every day for almost a the last week. So we're probably maybe at like 40 hours, 50 hours. But thank you for thinking that I'm working 100 hours. Very hard working mods throughout the whole sub. Absolutely. I do want to give a special shout out to um, Erin, who is giving a whole bunch of her her time to help us out. So that's uh, super cool. There's that damn emote again. D, D Viper success. D, D Viper AU. Oh, yeah, let's start Viper. Well, <laughs> yeah, I read. <laughs> See, if I if I had disposable income, Anytime I saw an emote that I wanted, I would literally just like click and sub just for the emotes. I am not, however, a woman of means. So I can't do that, but one day I will. Love you. Okay, we got Queeb coming in. He's gonna set up for a couple minutes and uh, and then we'll get to see him. Razlad, you do have a sub. Hello. Icky and chill? Did I Icky and chill? Can you please tell me how to pronounce your uh, your name? I don't want to to say it wrong. That'd be awful. JB, I I believe it was determined that a hot dog was a sandwich. There was like a court case. I want to say it was a New York court case. I'm not lying. Like I, I believe it was a court case in New York. Just icky. Look at all those emotes. Look at those Huxley emotes. Oh my god. Oh my god. My little boy. I love him so much. You guys probably aren't going to see him for at least a week or so. I, I really think he is going into a uh, into shed. He's like in, in potato pancake mode. Hello, my love. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi. So I'm my sorry, name's McQueeb. Yes, you are. You are McQueef. I am Miss Queef. Hi. Hi. Zoe says hello to to everyone. Um, and Zario, how did you get scammed? Six hundred fifty dollars. I need everybody. to know. Welcome Please back. tell me. Tell me so we can avoid it. Hi, Zarf. Evening. I'm gonna turn the air conditioner on. Hopefully, the hum isn't too loud on my end. One second. Okay. Uh, yes, I do remember that, Anzario. Hi, people, I know, you're not on camera, though. We gotta get you a setup. 
she just has this look like I don't have a setup. You don't have a setup yet. We haven't gotten you a setup. Uh, I will. Uh, I'll probably. I'll probably work on my uh, my desktop computer tomorrow, and that's probably where I will. I'll stream, and I actually have like a, a mic there, so uh, hopefully the uh, the audio quality will be tremendously better than what you guys are hearing now. That would be nice. Do you want me to send that money as a deposit? Talk to a human being and his password protected. Larry Jr. with a top hat. Yep, we're subscribing to that. <laughs> That's awesome. I assume it doesn't uh, mess up achievements and stuff. So, Enzariel, did you actually send that money? Like, that money is gone? Are you able to get it back from your credit card company or your bank with uh, uh, fraud protection or anything? I am so sorry. That is... Ugh, that is awful. The, it's the, I like I have no words. I'm sorry. There are some people that just make it so difficult to be a human these days. It sucks that people are out there taking advantage of those, like with 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 you know respective. Re What's the word? I don't know what you're trying to say. Relatively speaking, with yes. with you know next to nothing. Mm -hmm. just scraping by and and they're the people that get taken off taken advantage of the most it's fucking bullshit it, it absolutely is uh and Zariel, if you're able to what you um what you could do and i have done this successfully before but i know people who have done it and it hasn't worked you can go to your bank and actually speak to a person on the phone or in person don't don't do the 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 chat thing tell them that uh, you would like to remove all of your money like every single bit when they ask you why you tell them why because of the $650 bullshit like don't say it you know in a pissy way just literally be like well you know I got scammed $650 and you don't want to help me about it all which is fine that's your policy but that means i need to find a bank that's actually going to help me for real like the worst thing that they can do is say no here here's your money we can't help but best case scenario you don't have to go through the whole bullshit of changing banks which i would still end up doing once you did get your money but i would make sure that i i stayed long enough to actually get that money back It's so funny, like I've seen a few of these um, these mods for Isaac coming up and they're like, you know, oh, it does this and it, it gives that. I, I still have no idea. I don't know what you're talking about at all. What did you actually eat for your uh, your breakfast slash uh, brunch? Uh, cocoa pebbles today. Are you running low on cocoa pebbles? It just so happens that I am, yes. Okay, so that's probably something that I need to be told. Because I literally went to the store today. And I hey, Ms. Queeb. Yeah. Um, I'm running low on cocoa pebbles. Such a dick. Such a dick. Yes, I will. I will get more cocoa pebbles. Yeah, it's it's you know it's kind of a shitty deal, Anzariel. I am sorry that you're going through that. What? Uh, I assume you're still playing. Um, Final Fantasy X. Mm hmm Yep. Last night we beat uh, Unaleska, which is a very tough fight. Uh, the first time... The fight lasted close to two hours, I think. Um, the first time uh, we played, wa uh, she beat me like... She only had like four or 5,000 HP left, which is nothing. 
and she just happened to cast Confuse on Oren and Titus. Titus took himself out with the single hit because he was low on HP. Oren turned himself to stone, and that was game over. Party wipe. Yeah, I don't understand what you said, but that's great. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, it, it's a bad thing. <laughs> um... Oh, I'm, I, look, okay. I'm trying to be supportive. I'm doing my best. You you never have to worry about that. Let me <laughs> let me put that out there. You are an amazing partner. You take interest, even if you don't understand. I'm the I'm the same, right? Like, yeah, you are. with your with your witchcraft and and stuff like that. Like, I I dig it. It's interesting to me, but I don't understand it. I know that I'm a Taurus rising and that we're the best. That's you're all that Taurus matters. You're not a Taurus rising. You're a Taurus sun, Gemini rising, or Gemini moon, Leo rising. You're a Leo rising. I'm a Leo moon. Anyway. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm going to, you know, like you're in a good partnership. You, you do have to like you have to support your person's shit. Like, you both have to be on the same page, relatively speaking. Yep. I told you that the other day. I was like, mm -hmm. the the fact that we're different in certain aspects, yet we, we can we can, we can can have a conversation, we can talk, like, that is that is it for me. Like, you are, you're a good person, and I like you a lot, so. Yeah. I responded to your question on Messenger, by the way. Heard of Axanima? 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 Axanima. I'll be like, this level's really hard. She'll be like, yeah. <laughs> that is that that is what a, a real relationship should be. Two people just letting each other do their shit. X Anima is a smaller yet complete game in its own right, a dungeon crawler that takes place in SG's under I don't know what SG is. Underworld some 20 years prior to its events. I I don't know what any of that means. But the cover's pretty. The cover's super pretty. Let's see. Um X Anima? Oh, the, yeah, that's all you have to say. Like, I, I can't do, like, the, the Diablo gameplay. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm out. Yeah, you don't, like, you don't like isometric games. What was it that you couldn't play because of that? I don't know what isometric Hades. games are. Hades, you didn't like. Yeah, like, it's... And that... Didn't, didn't like, World of Warcraft used to be that, that layout? War Warcraft that used to be an RTS, real-time strategy game. But it's it's that the so the gameplay in isometric like an isometric game style that's what Diablo is right correct like, like what it, mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. like like that that yeah that's the kind that I I can't do it's and even turn based games I don't I don't understand like it, it seems it seems stupid to me. What's today? Wednesday. Day six. Mm-hmm. Uh, with ragdoll. I don't know what ragdoll stuff is. You you guys will need to give me a little bit of of uh, of a birth because I just I, I I don't understand any of the, these concepts. I should, knowing who my husband is, but So ragdoll physics that. are like when you if you hit something and they fall over, like a, if a person falls over, for example, right? Mm -hmm. They trip in a, and I'm going to use massive quotey fingers for this, mm -hmm. realistic way. That's where oh, a lot okay. of humor comes from in a lot of games because ragdoll physics can, it, it, I mean, it's calculated behind the scenes, right? So okay. the way it's I been think programmed. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you remember like that game I played? It was a silly game called Alt F4. Fairly recently, I only played it once. 
I don't remember, but I, I think I do recognize uh, the concept like that, that what was that running game, the keyboard based running game? And didn't that have to do with the ragdoll physics? Quop? <laughs> I don't, I don't know, but that, that's probably it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, kind of <laughs> okay. very rudimentary, but yes. Yeah. Right. But it, yeah, it, okay. That makes sense. I put so many hours into Diablo 2 as a kid. It's like second nature to me. I can't stand Hades because of the isometric style either. Thank you, Zarf. Yeah, like I, it, it doesn't, I, I don't, I can't explain why, but to me, it, it does not seem fun. Like I, the reason I stuck with WoW for as long as I did and will, let's be honest, I'll, I'll probably at some point resub. Um, I like that I can either zoom completely out and I can, you know, I, I have a wide view and I can see my character and whatnot, or I can zoom completely in, it's first person, and it, it, it submerses me into the game. Like I, I like that style. The, the whole concept of the isometric game, I, I don't, I don't think it's something I will ever understand, mm -hmm. however. Mm -hmm. I, you know, never say never, et cetera, and so on and so forth. Hoomst, Hoomst defines Ragdoll like this legend. What? <laughs> Hoomst. Uh, I get that. I'm top 50 in double. Doiby, uh, thank you very much for your resub, by the way. I saw that earlier. Very kind, uh, my dude. Speedruns and all, but my sister could beat me at Mario Kart. I'm just not compatible. Same with first person shooters. I'm good with the skills I, I got don't transfer. Same thing. I, I can't do first person shooters, games like um and Queep has the same problem. Games where you you are forced to be very quick on your feet. Like uh like Fortnite, for instance. I cannot play Fortnite. It's I I I have to think too fast and I have to be able to move just as fast and i can't get to a safe place and like in an inn and like fucking chill for a bit while i go deal with my husband or my dog like you have to be in the game you have to play the whole time that you are actually playing that one battle or whatever it's called like even now i'm having this discussion and my dog is sitting behind me whining because i'm not looking at her so that is not conducive to a Fortnite uh, or even Call of Duty situation. Think more, less instinct. But see, th my instinct doesn't doesn't do that. And you guys are going to see that in a hundred some odd subs. That's not my instinct. I think. I think. I think it's going to be difficult for you because you you you're the the speed at which you have to like put two and two together in Isaac like you need you need to react very very quickly and I think that's first of all because you're brand new to it and using a controller in this game it's like it's it's gonna be it's gonna be weird but I think you'll get the hang of it a little bit um it's it's gonna be fun I I, I know you're you're concerned I don't think you have to be I if I if I am overly frustrated I will, I will either throw something, like no lie, I will throw something or I will go AFK. So let's not do that. Well, uh, correct. I understand, but she, I am She'll throw you. a controller through my, through my thousand dollar monitor. It's, I, I it's will, all good. I will absolutely throw something if I get pushed to that level, but I am just going to like AFK if I get to that point, like literally right now. I want to strangle Zoe because she will not be quiet and she demands attention. So just handling that part of everything that that's going to be just an issue. Mm -hmm. And Zoro says, haha, we're kind of similar on anger issues. I don't actually have a temper. Nah, don't, I, don't let her, don't let her surprise no, you. Chad. She's, she's a pussycat. She's fine. <laughs> I no, I I don't. It's I was actually recently diagnosed as as um not having like like I I'm not feeling like a whole range of emotions and it, it's probably stress related. Uh, 
but for so long, like I, I have seen how bad my temper can get. I have thrown things at like, you know, when I was, you know, like a, a, a young spritling of, you know, early twenties, just to like get frustration out. A but, queebling? A, a very, a very small queebling. Um, but yeah, like since then I, I do really well to keep my anger in check. Um, I also really don't like being humiliated like at all it's like jokes and pranks are like i really don't like them which i don't know why i'm married to queeb then because he's like mr jokester mr like pokes fun constantly so i don't i don't think that anyone would make fun of you in chat like i i get it a little bit if a if a really successful run dies to something stupid because i've made a poor decisions like that that happens from time to time but i don't think anyone's going to make fun of you they wouldn't dare <laughs> let's let's be honest. They they they, they enjoy spending time in the channel. Let's just say that much. That is, that is very true. But you know, even if they're not actually typing something, they they could still definitely be saying something off screen, and that's that's something else that I have to work through. But I'm fairly certain I'm not going to throw something. I'm probably going to get very frustrated, and I may just like end the game. So. Um, and when I say that, and when I say that, I do mean I will walk away and not say anything because I'm just, I'm like at my limit and I just, I need to process because I'm so frustrated. I don't like not being good at something. I don't like it when I don't understand something. Mm -hmm. And I don't like when I'm in public slash quote public end quote. Um, you, you won't find a more supportive chat than, than this. I <laughs> well, promise. I promise. And if ever, if anyone you. fucks up, then... It, they won't be in here for long. Thank you. Definitely appreciate that. I like Queeb's calmness with games. I don't like watching people who are very outwardly frustrated at doing poorly in games. Well, um, when when the co-op happens, we'll let you know, and you can like X out for that time, and you know so, it won't be very long. So what I'm gonna do <laughs> is uh, I'm gonna set up another. So you don't have to be like on camera. I'm going to try to get mm -hmm. like um, face rig working um, just just for you. I, well, thank you. Um, I need to set up the other. I'm actually going to work on that later today. Anyway, the other computer. Just because I, I think that that game would be a lot better and closer just because I have been having the Wi-Fi issues. Mm. And I'm cool with not, I don't need a face rig. It's fine. They they are used to my disembodied voice by now, so they can handle it. We can just keep the face rig on my own streaming channel if that ever gets started after the subathon ends. If the I don't know, man. There's been ends. a few, there's been a few calls for, um, you know, getting you on uh, a podcast. So maybe you could stream, yeah, maybe you could stream I don't know that. Why. Because you're good no to talk why. to. You have a very uh, comforting motherly voice. Well, well, thank you. It's all my childhood trauma helping me. I appreciate that. Uh, we want to see you win the game as much as you want to win it. But that's, that's just it. I, I, I don't know about the game. Like, I don't know if... Is there winning? In oh, the yeah. Game? We, can, we can win runs I, in, of Isaac. I've never played co-op before, so I'll be, I'll be new to it as well. Uh, and Zario, if I ever face rigged for you guys, it would absolutely be the mental health uh, Velociraptor. That's what we play in this house. Just mental health Velociraptor. You have to fail to get good, says Connor. I understand. I Ev absolutely understand. Everyone go follow Ms. Queeb. Let's get her to let's get her to partner <laughs> before she even starts streaming. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Like, I, I totally get it. Like, like, believe me, I do. I I was shit at WoW. For, I mean, I'm still shit at WoW. But even at my best, it, it took me a long time to get there. So I get it. But it's... We're talking about a game that is a, it is completely different. And I don't play video games anymore. Mm. And I haven't. So not only am I having to learn how to use the controller... I'm having to learn how to play the game. So that's going to be you know, just 
reminiscent of me trying to teach my um, my five-year-old nephew how to play Legend of Zelda, and he was so frustrated by the controller and, and by the game itself that he threw the controller at the wall behind head and was just like inconsolable i don't understand like he just he he couldn't make the controller do what he wanted it to do and i i feel like that's gonna happen not me throwing but i do see me being frustrated oh my god these pet pictures are amazing look at that little hamster that little ball (laughs) is that a guinea pig that is a guinea pig that first picture um yeah i probably need to to hide that one that's a little sad but yeah i mean people were super cool giving uh giving me things to look at while i was doing pre-game and you kept talking at me and not to me uh connor says mental health chats can be good i'm tuned i tune in for that thank you we're deliberately trying to keep today light just because the last two have been kind of i don't think they've been dark i think they've been educational um, I have gotten a few private DMs saying thank you for giving a safe place for us to talk to. The, that's pretty cool. And if that's something that my personal channel evolves into, then I'm down. But it would never be something where I'm streaming at the same time that Queeb is. Like, that's just... Nah, I'm, I'm not about that. Uh, you, you're, there... you, it's fine. If if you wanted to stream... It doesn't matter when you stream, babe. Like... If people want to watch you rather than me, that's fine. It's all good. Being, well, it, it kind of... Stop. Um, I did briefly stream, but I, walk, I, I stopped doing it because uh, the room that I, I was streaming in was the same room that Queeb was playing in. I actually streamed a few times when you guys were streaming. And uh, we had a talk, and, and Queeb... At the time, he was like, yeah, it feels kind of weird, like, having you in the room. Even though we couldn't see each other, we're actually separate. I was on right. the other side of that green Right, screen. right, right. Yep, I had performance anxiety. Uh, like, yeah, like, where the where the, the couch is that Cleve is sleeping on, that's where my desk is. I ended up moving my whole desk out here to the living room and, and flip-flopped them for you guys. Um, so I stopped because of that. I didn't have a place, and I've, I've kind of just been floating around the house. So yeah, I might I might get back into it. It might honestly just be like, like mental health slash et cetera, or maybe et cetera slash mental health talk while I play a random game and people are in there just to hang out and talk and not really watch me play, but rather I'm playing the game just so I can, you know, have something to do so my ADHD isn't going bonkers. Mm-hmm. Hi, Exo Random. Hi, my Ms. Queen, Yellow Velociraptor. Ever heard of Dino Run by Pixel Jam? You know, I'm going to have to Google that. Pixel Jam are the ones that published uh, Nova Drift, and Dino Run is one of their. I think it was de- developed in house, actually. It's, it's old school. It's very. Um, how, would you, how would you describe it? It's. Pixel Jam games are often very simple. Um. And it's look uh, at that that logo. It's oh, it's a so good cute. game. It's very popular for an indie game, uh, but I don't oh, think you cute. would like that one. Yeah, I, I probably wouldn't, but I would at least try. Oh my god, there's a pteranodon carrying a dinosaur away. That's mean. Okay, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to play. It's too cruel. But I would try. Um, Icky says you can play chill games like Minecraft. Well, that's a that's a whole thing. I tried that. That was a no. Queeb and I actually had our own server. And I just, I wanted a safe place where, where nobody would get me and I could just build whatever I wanted. That's all I wanted to do. I that's just right. That's something. right. So, and Ms. Queeb, you know, I, I, from, from the, what I've been told, we set up a, I wanted it. So I want survival. That's, that's kind of my thing. She wanted creative. So what I did was set up a little house. It was like in the side of a mountain or something. Sealed it off, lit it up really well. And I said, you can build whatever you want. This, this entire mountain's yours. Some fucking thing got in there. Zombie or some shit. And, and she died. And then she's like, oh, I'm done. It was so awful. 
wonderful. I, I would, I would like, it would have been one thing if, if I would have expected it because then I would have been like, okay, well, I, I need to kind of be on the lookout for these bros. Right. No, like I was just doing my thing, making shit, making a house. I would like, like this, I'm not into the Sims. The Sims right now are way too complicated. Like it's too complex. I don't need that kind of stuff. I just wanted to like make stuff look cool. And I was just, I was living out my dreams, man. I was enjoying it. And like the zombie didn't pop up like far away from me and run to me. The zombie popped up in front of my face. Yeah, it came around a corner or something. And gotcha. I, I was literally just like shrieking. I'm like, nope, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I won't. It was, no, I couldn't do it. Hey, don't stress about it. Try it or not. It's your clone if you don't enjoy it. That's fine. The die. I know we're in game. I think it looks kind of cool. So I'm, I will try it out. I, I have access to Queeb's, um, his Steam library. He has like, I, I don't even know if I have done it. I need to I should. And that's, that's a staple right there. That's like, uh, I do need to, uh, it's like the blob. It's like I, I got a thousand copies of the blob on every, every platform ever. Um, a creeper, yes. I, I, they're, they're zombies. Stardew Valley, yes. I, I have played Stardew Valley. I stopped playing. I hacked it. I did. You did the cheats, right? Oh, we lost you, Miss Queep. And I went with my computer. There you are. Or so, like, I, figured, I think it was... I don't remember, like, like something happened with my computer. We needed to do like a, a fresh OS install or something. And by the end of that and having to reset up everything, I'm like, you know what, this is just like, like with the ADHD, if I get an idea, I need to act on it immediately and I can like push it to the limit. Like, let's go, let's mm -hmm. do it. And if there's any kind of stopping on that momentum, it's like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm, I, no, no, I, I know I just played like 46 straight weeks of, of, uh, Winter's Grass Battlegrounds, but I couldn't play for, for a single day and now I don't want to do it anymore. Like just, it kills my buzz. Um, so I do have, weeks. I do have Dino Run, by the way. Yes. Uh, Supercrat says I should try Littlewood. It follows the aftermath of an epic hero saving the world. You are the hero and lost all your memory and rebuild your hometown. That sounds sad. Oh, but it's cute. It looks very, um, very, uh, World of Warcrafty, Or not World of Warcrafty. uh, Legend of Zelda-y. Like, like just, it's cute. Okay, I'll check it out. Littlewood? Littlewood, one word. You defeated the wizard. The world of Solon is finally at peace, but at what cost? You can't quite remember. So it kind of looks, no monsters, no intents whatsoever, just building resources, rebuilding your town, and very little heavy emotions. Okay, that's my jam right there. That's my jam. Chat. So I, I will try it out. I have a question. Tell me about Biomutant. Everybody's talking about it. They're like, buy a mutant, buy a mutant. I've been offered a key, um, and I don't really want to accept that key unless I've, you know, I plan to stream it or play it or whatever. Why would I like it specifically? Kind of looks like, uh, Ratchet and Clank, kind of. But uh, but Littlewood looks looks fun. Looks like it's uh, it's very cute. Uh, it looks like it will keep me busy. Like like it'll it'll actually give me something to do mm -hmm. while I'm you know modding or even talking on here. Just gives me you know something active to do where I don't have to worry about dying.
you want to come outside, get your baby, let's go. She's like, well, I don't accept nonverbal cues from you anymore. You have to actually verbalize. <laughs> come on, get your baby, let's go. I'll take you. Okay, well, I'm going. Bye, see you. Bye. Bye. Everybody say bye to Zoe. Bye, Zoe. See you. Bye. She's still looking at me. She's the one who's been pestering me this whole time to go out. Someone asked me, I don't remember where, what game will Queeb play after Final Fantasy? And I'm like, well, I, I would assume it's the co-op. And he's like, or they're like, well, what, what about after the co-op? Um, I'll probably go back to rotation, maybe pick up something that we haven't played in a while. I wouldn't mind having a few runs of, uh, of Nova Drift. Um, uh, it, it's been asked that I play Returnal today, so we're going to start with a run of Returnal. Um, yeah. I like Returnal. It looks pretty. Beautiful I, I like game. Concept. Absolutely beautiful game. Like, I love the, the Edge of Tomorrow movie. Like, I love it so much. Same. It's a I'm good actually, movie. I'm surprised that we we don't actually have it anywhere for me to just, like, watch. But, uh, yeah, I like the idea that there's a game that's kind of based on it. It almost kind of reminds me from the little that I've seen of it. And, obviously, I don't mean the whole thing, but the scientific -y part of Horizon Zero Dawn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yep. So it's available on TBS and TNT, probably with ads on both. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we can rent it, just rent it from Amazon or whatever. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll do that. It is such a good movie. It, it's super good. Anyone who's like, ah, Tom Cruise, eh, they definitely need Tom to watch Cruise it. Tom Cruise is a, he's a great actor. Sure, he is, like Scientology, he... weird, whatever. But he is a really, he's a cool, he's a cool actor. He takes his job very seriously, and he's good at what he does. Um, he he's one of those actors where he knows his limitations. He's not he's not out there doing Shakespeare. He's he's very sparing on the categories that he's in. Mm -hmm. He he's sort of a one note in that he does play a very a very sort of specific type of character. Sure. But he's he's usually really good at it, and and, and there, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, he plays the same thing, and he's good. There's nothing wrong with that. He, like no, especially like what is he? God, he'd be close to sixty, wouldn't he's, he? He is, yeah. Like he's he's like early sixties. I don't think he he's fifty eight. Like that though, he's fifty eight mm -hmm. years old. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's yeah. not a day over forty five. <laughs> we look older than he does. Well, Truly. I mean, you can you can speak for yourself there. <laughs> no, I like him. I think he's fantastic. Even the, what was it? It was called like Night and Day. With oh, that Cameron was with Diaz. Cameron Diaz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, like like even that like that was. I I want to say that's probably one of his only comedies, like comedy esque that he's done. Oh no, he he was in. Um, What's the risky business and like? I don't view that as a comedy though. No. No, there's there's comedic bits. Tropic Thunder. He did have a cameo at the end of Tropic Thunder. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He was good, but he's he's like my point is like he doesn't. I think he's he's very specific with what he plays. He he sort either he knows or his team knows what will and will not work for him, and they're. Very oh, absolutely. Cautious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he was he was supposed to have um Angelina Jolie's role in Salt. That was supposed to be him and really? they redid it. They redid it for her because he turned it down. That it, like if you if you think about what we saw, granted what we saw it wasn't very good. I liked Salt. Um, it was alright. It, it could have been a lot better. Like I read the script for it. And it's it's different. Like it, it has a different ending, and um, it has a different vibe. He, uh, on the surface, he would have been great in that role, like in the script. But what we saw, he he would not have been. He would have come off as like that, um, like I'm a cocky actor, and I'm taking this because it's purely a money grab, kind right? Of, kind of vibe, right? Like very smug. Hmm.
How long do you think this Abathon's going to go? Um, Are you, do you want it to be 30 days? Like the, I guess, 20, 24 days? Well, no, 30, 30 days. That's, that's the whole point, right? Like I, I won't have this opportunity again, unless I'm streaming full time. Mm -hmm. um, it's just my unique work situation allows mm -hmm. for, for this at the moment. So I set aside 30 days and I, I can do it. Everybody's concerned, like, take care of yourself. You know, you because you're not you getting enough sleep. To... Yeah, I am. I'm getting great sleep. Well, they they are under the impression that you are one of those people that mean that needs like, you know, eight to ten hours of sleep. You guys don't understand. If I gave him a day to sleep, he would sleep the whole day. If I need him to sleep three or four hours, he will sleep three or four hours. Like, that's him. But he he is one of those people where, if he had the time available, he would he would spend all day in bed sleeping. That would be his thing. What I'm concerned about is making sure that he eats and he drinks water, not Red Bull. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Donkey but, Jim, it's not. It's not just you. It like I. <laughs> I get it constantly. It even even alive. little even little side comments in chat. They're like, oh, uh, you know, Queeb, you know, go stretch and 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 have you hydrated. And it's like, oh, shut up. I'm, I'm in my forties. I'm a middle-aged man now. <laughs> no, we're they're they are concerned about you because they care. No, I I get it. I get it. Every every comment it it warms my heart a little bit. Um, but trust me, I am I'm looking after myself. This is this is fun and it's weird and it's it's this like whole experiment and it's like. You know, maybe this will help us get to that stage where I don't, um, you know, have my full time job anymore. But mm -hmm. like, even if it doesn't, it's it's still it's fun. I'm having a, a blast doing this. Yeah, you you really seem like you are enjoying it. If if I saw that you weren't enjoying yourself, that you weren't having a good time, I I would probably pull you aside and be like, hey, what you doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How, how about we fix that? Turnbull likes the chat. I mean, even if it's not us, the, the chat as well is, is also very um, like, like chat. The community here, I guess, is, is a better word. It's, it, they're, they're all good people. Yeah. Like. How do I turn off the audio on the Twitch app. I think oh, I, I don't I don't use the Twitch app. Okay, so I just turned the I just said chat only, so I can't see what's going on, but I can see chat. Um it's like the call in radio without the racist. Red Bull ooh aftertaste. Uh Gaia Yaki Yerba Mate Mate. Uh classic gold oh wow. So random. I have heard that. Thank you for your for your input. Um, this is actually the first can of Red Bull I've ever tried. It's quite nice. First time trying Red Bull today. Yeah, weird. We I restocked the fridge. You've got tons of stuff in there. No, I saw. Thank you. It's good. Mm -hmm. Got to do my best, even though you're you're not digging the uh, the vitamin waters that I put in there. So that it's just not like it's it's almost like it has calories and it has sugar in it, but it's not. Mm -hmm. um, it's I not mean, like a juice. It's like a water. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. if that's the case, I should be just drinking La Croix, which is sugar free entirely. Ugh. It's like, oh, I drove past a truck, <laughs> citrus truck today. That's, that's what La Croix tastes like. It does. Like it, it's just it. it but it t somebody told me it tastes like angry water, and they're absolutely correct. It totally does taste like angry water. Peanuts and Red Bull. That'd, prob <laughs> that'd probably work, Connor. That'd probably work. Don't give him ideas. He he will absolutely do it. The, the Coke was good. I had it warm, flat, mm -hmm. uh, with mm -hmm. peanuts in it, like, all through the night. It's, it's a good little snack to keep you going. Really? Really? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, Australia is the British South. Like it's British Texas. That's, that's totally what it is. You are Southern. 
hint of hint of lime. Absolutely. It, it, it hint of hint of lime, angry water. It's just angry. Tends to make it difficult for me to interact with the chat without using any Argentine, Argentine expressions. Um, yeah, I mean, you could try. I mean, we do definitely have some uh, people from different cultures in the chat. We, as the, the Queeb Collective, Mr. and Ms., we, we would not understand. Is it meant to be warm and flat with the nuts? It's warm-ish or cool. Oh no! It, it's no, no. You can have it cold. Like it, it doesn't matter. Well, it just can't. it was sitting on my desk for hours and hours right. and hours. That's why but it was traditionally, warm. Traditionally, traditionally, you you put the peanuts in your coke. You wait a bit for it to kind of marinate, and then you drink it. Queeb was just like, I'm. I'm just gonna get it and go. I'm just gonna do it. Like I was in the middle of like telling him, and he went ahead and drank it. Which that's if that's not McQueeb right there, then I don't know what is. Sparkling milk, yes. Virgil's root beer is. My root beer of choice. Yep. Do the peanuts flavor it? So it's it's weird. Each each individual ingredient takes on its own different form, right? The peanuts become plain, um, and and from chewing on them after they've been softened for an hour or two, like it it sort of adds uh, it, it makes it much closer to peanut butter in flavor. Like, just out of the jar, kind of plain, unsalted peanut butter. The Coke, on the other hand, loses its fizz. It loses a lot of that that top end, um, that bitiness that, that Coke has. That's the reason I don't uh, drink um, Coke normally, is that it's just, it's, I don't, I'm just not a big fan. It, it, to me, Exa. the excess sugar in Coke, it almost makes it more plain if that makes sense it, it's it's closer to la croix than any other drink just with a really really high sugar content so. anyway Excellent. i enjoyed it, it says is it southerners it's bubble tea it ab it is ac absolutely southerners boba tea it, it completely is i've never heard that expression used before but that's what it is Has he had boiled? You have had boiled peanuts. Oh yeah, boiled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. boiled peanuts. I have had. They're good. He, he's yeah, like he's. I, I don't like homemade ones, but yeah, he does not like the ones I make. Out of the bag he, or or out of the, the can. He likes the ones out of a can. We've had a bottle of Coke for over a year and a barbecue coming up. This sounds like an experiment for guests. Seriously, try it out. Um. I don't know why you're not supposed to have it in a glass. You are supposed to, you're supposed to like pour it in the bottle. I don't know why. I maybe there's like a scientific reason like it it keeps like the 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 flavor in or I don't know. I would think that if you maybe did it in a glass, um it would help lose the carbonation, which is seems to be one of the the reasons why Queeb likes it to be more flat. So the the reason I think it's meant to be in a bottle is because I see people you said it yourself. That's the reason peanuts come in this little thin bag, this little small ready to go bag. Um and you uh just dunk it. Yeah, you take it with you and it's a it's a, mm -hmm. a snack for the road. It it works. I've, it I don't does. I don't I've hate it. Literally <laughs> I remember going into like a little, I, I want to say it was, it wasn't even like a, I think it was like a grab and go, just like some little roadside family owned grocery store, supermarket, what is it, like a convenience store, and like grabbing a bottle of Coke and a bag of peanuts for my mom, and I couldn't read the bag, she just said grab a bag of peanuts, so I, I thought she meant like honey roasted, so that's what I got, and I had to like go back in and say, no, my mom said I need to get the salted. Like, I I vividly remember that being like six or seven. Q so like, fuel. Q fuel. I love it. I love it. Hey, Beast Thunder, how are you, dude? Good to see you. Liquid protein. It absolutely is a liquid protein bar. Absolutely. 
It sounds like a beautiful ceremony thing. I, look, we Southerners, we don't have a lot of culture that is widely accepted in this country. So if you view this as being <laughs> beautiful, <laughs> a beautiful ceremony thing, then I will absolutely accept it. Um, but I do want it noted for the record that that is a drink that I have not had since since I moved out when I was 17, if not before. And I never had it. It was something my mother always had, and it's something that her family has done. Like, it's never been my kind of thing. So whenever, whenever I mentioned it to chat, I wasn't mentioning it in a way to be like, you know, oh, hey, let's get him to try it. It was more like, hey, FYI, this is a thing that happens. And of course, my weird husband was like, wait a second, I can eat this. Let me do it. It's like the sand mixing ceremony, but edible. <laughs> uh, Coca-Cola ham is amazing. It absolutely is. But um, bourbon ham with uh, graham crackers and uh, honey mustard crust. That's super good. With like some brown sugar. It's like amazing. What does it say? Comedy. Comedy Central Drunk History taught me that Coca-Cola still uses the Coke leaves without listing them in the ingredients. That wouldn't shock me at all. Exo random. Connor would like to know, did Final Fantasy X end or on pause? I think it's on pause, right? Yeah, we're still oh, yeah. going with yeah, the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, still lots and lots mm -hmm. to do in Final Fantasy X. We are maybe, what, 60 hours in at this point and... I mean, we, we're not even, we haven't finished the main story, although we're very close to that. Um, but then there's, <laughs> we go, yeah, there's a lot to do. I'm, I'm like, I think I've only, I've maybe only watched you play maybe an hour of it, but it's because whenever you come on, like I'm, I have to go do all of the stuff that I would normally do when I, when I'm not modding. Massive shout out uh, to, to my wife. She is a, a fucking trooper, I think the word is. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm doing my best. You were you were boss babe. I, am I a hashtag boss babe? My god, I would fucking shoot myself if I ever referred to myself like that seriously. A super trooper. Definitely a super trooper. Feel free to stay on, Miss Queep. Um, I am just going to have a, 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 a quote-unquote quick run through Returnal. See how we go. I might try to go a little bit quicker, actually, just because I want to get uh, get good. You mean stay in chat or stay on audio? Well, whatever whatever you want. If you gotta... I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, I'm going to get off audio so I can attempt to get Zoe to actually go to the bathroom. No problem. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys in chat for a little bit. Um, I'll probably be back in chat, like, officially as mod, maybe 7 to 10 a.m., something like that. I will see you guys, and we will uh, just do nice and chill daily chat, Just, and we'll start pregame maybe an hour or so before Queeb gets on. Yeah. All right, my love. See you soon. See you. Thank you, everybody, for being so super kind to me. I really appreciate it, and I will. Uh, I'll catch you guys later. So, hey, Sleepwalker, how are you? Great to see you. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, Answer, you're out. No problem. Take it easy. When do you get the new neon nails? The 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 yellow ones. Oh my god, they are definitely yellow. Uh, Ms. Queeb is covering the morning shift tomorrow, so I'm going to be going through a little bit later today. I'm going to let her sleep in a little bit. Um, right, so we've still got a, bit, a little bit to do here, right? Let's go back to... We'll just do the first three biomes. We'll start with that. No sweat, Donkey Jim. Uh, 
Um, you haven't seen this game before. Right, so Returnal is a, an action bullet hell third person roguelike. Uh, and that's the same reason we were talking about Edge of Tomorrow earlier, because it's very similar in storyline to, to that. Even some of the monster designs are reminiscent of the monsters in that game. Aaron, no, you take the morning off. Mm -mm. Nah, you you need you need rest too. I got this. Um, and I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure the new puppy, which is cute as hell, by the way. Puppies have no right being that cute. Oh my god. New item unlocked. Hell yeah. What'd you get me? Oh, good. A consumable. Hello, Elemental Silver. How are you doing? Reflex stimulant. Re enhances reflexes. Slowing down perception of time. Oh, so it's bullet time. So that's one thing I will say is that the uh, the ideas in this game aren't wholly original, but it does what it does quite well. Oh, not just any puppy. You should see this thing sleep. It's it's like the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Wait, what happened, sleep? You got robbed? What, did someone break in and take shit? Like, were you hurt? People are fucked. They're, they're, again, it's like what I was, what I was saying earlier, right? It's the ones that, um, they, you, you work hard for your money and, and someone's like, no, I want that more than you. They caught the person. Jesus. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Oh, I didn't check for little wood. Give me one second here. Um, if it's something you want to play, maybe maybe you just buy it yourself. I'll see if I can. I'll contact the dev and get you a key or something. Maybe little wood. No, I do not have little wood. So the, I think the main thing we need to be on the lookout for here are ciphers. I'm not sure if I have all of the ones in this area or not. Um, I think we're still missing a few, if I'm not mistaken. Secret right there. Oh my god, hell yes. Right, so it looks like we're fighting the first boss, or at least making our way up the uh, up the little thing, up the ramp. That, what I just picked up there, is a, uh, uh, like a, br a blueprint for an item that we haven't yet unlocked.
you DM pics. Oh, to, to Sleepwalker? Oh my god. You sleep. It's just... It's ridiculous. Cutest dog. Amazing. You, you did good, Aaron. You did real good there. What do we got? Some kind of secret over here? Wait, I just saw something. Oh, okay. Now that's... Oh, okay. Yep. No sweat. Well, maybe sweat a little. Okay, we go through the side area. Another yellow eyes glowy dude here. Run's going okay so far. Pistol is uh, a little bit underwhelming. More squishies down here. Great. Because we can swim now. Suit integrity increase. Very nice. And that's all we got. That's all she wrote. <gasps> no, you didn't. Celine, I'm embarrassed. Dreadbound. I'll try it. So with this weapon, you, uh, it shoots out like a kind of a boomerang projectile. Um, it shoots out three to begin with. Some of the weapons have a fourth that you can unlock, uh, but you can't reshoot it until each projectile comes back. Um, so it's, it's weird. It's kind of like, you ha it, it, I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, you get close and it shoots very, very quickly because... Uh, but the problem is you need to be close to targets for that to work. bad so far. Got a couple of enemies here left. There's what, three or four of those and now the big boy uh, who's got a red shield. The red shield means that you have to break it first. We have no weapons that allow us to do that. Um, so I need to get up close and smash him with my sword. Sword's a weapon, McQueeb. Okay, this is alright. This isn't bad at all. Yeah, this guy's a bit of a bit of a health hazard. Oh, got hit. So you'll notice my adrenaline just got reset there. Uh, what that means is uh, adrenaline is your what would you call it? What would you relate it to? Um, I guess effectiveness on the battlefield. You get hit, you lose it. So not getting hit is actually very, very important because each rank of adrenaline, up to five, gives you uh, additional set stats. Spit more blaster. What do we got? Slug shot. I've almost mastered this staggering on Dreadbound, so I'm going to keep that for now until we master it. We'll come back for the shotgun. Uh, each weapon has uh, additional stats or passive modifiers that uh, you need to learn before it becomes effective, essentially. So here's the boss. We could theoretically go and unlock that... Uh,
my god, don't miss in this big open area. There we go. We got staggering. All right, so I'm going to go back and get the uh, the shotgun. This is a PlayStation 5 exclusive, and it's published by Sony. It's first-party published game, um, which means that it's probably going to stay an exclusive for quite some time. Standing in the lights is bad. Slug shot's very good, by the way. It's like the shotgun blast plus an additional, uh, like, like hard hitting, uh, central shot. So I just wanted to come into this area. Oh no, we do have to beat the boss first. Hmm. My bad. Let's see what the pistol is here. Shield breaker, snub nose barrel. No, I'll keep my uh keep my shotgun. Yeah, exactly like a shotgun slug. But it's in addition to Ah uh, shit. It's in addition to the, uh... To the regular... The regular shotgun pellets. Translation complete. Accuracy 70%. I still don't understand the math when it comes to translations. Looks like we left a health behind or heal up here. Yeah, now I've got to burn a whole bunch of heals, uh, just fixing myself up because I'm... I keep jumping off cliffs. Alright, we'll keep making our way through. Okay, so we need the uh, upgrade for that. Melee upgrade. Cypher. 9 out of 10. 1 to go. In this first area. Have a great night, Turnbo. Take it easy, man. Down here, it looks like something corrupted. Oh, four of them? Five? I didn't hit that guy in time. Shame. Alt fire stimulant. What do we got? Projectile portal, anti energy pulse. Yeah, I don't need that. So it's a key. So this is malignant key. Um, which means we have a chance of... Never mind. Didn't happen. We have a chance of malfunction. Malfunctions uh, in this game are mostly bad. Sometimes they can be good.
Shotgun very accurate, as you can see. Oh boy. Kind of one of my favorite weapons. We're going to be taking that. This does a damage over time, like a little uh, energy rod attack. It's pretty dope. Health looking pretty slim. Not good. That's the door we can't get through with some kind of fabricator inside. Not sure what it is exactly. Looks like there's another heal down here. Oh, lovely. Moderate heal. Nice. So we need the melee upgrade. I do have 475 bucks. That's a lot of money to have at such an early stage in the game. Typical runs of this take me... If, if it's a complete run, probably three to four hours. There's a creepy house. Looks like it's closed off for the moment. That's like the lore house. You walk in and it's uh, it's kind of like a PT-esque backstory. Uh, backstory teller. Oh, and this is the one we need. Cypher's collected 68 out of 70. Am I I'm missing two total? Is that just for the first biome or the entire game? Has to be just the first. Well, now I don't know. No, we're missing 10 in the first. Must be the entire game. 68 out of 70. I'm missing two. Wow. And we found one on this run. That actually very good. Arrow. Yep. Big time arrow. Alright, so what do we got? Overload rush. Repair circuit. Repairs integrity. Good to have, maybe later. Let's buy the spaceman for 212. Spaceman's an extra life. by the large heal too. Uh, let's take an extra 200 bucks. And... You want the large heal? I'll take that. It's fine. I won't buy the heal for now. We'll come back later if we want it. I want to save uh, 254... Well, 212. For the uh, melee upgrade, if it's here. So that's one thing. There is a, a door we can't get through without the melee upgrade. But... It's not always in the, in the biome. So I don't know. We'll, have, we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Yeah, it is. It's a lot of people have said the same thing. Your concerns are more than valid. Um, and yeah, it's. Uh, it sucks that it's only on PS5. Shit, am I nearly dead? I am. Maybe that heal would have been really good. I'm doing the worst thing by not keeping my distance from this guy because he's kind of a dick. Well, there goes my spaceman. Can't dodge that. Wow. That sucked big time. Dang. Well, thank God we got the spaceman, I guess. So some enemies in the game are very tough. That is one of them. You fight um, four of those later. In, in a single room, in a single challenge room. Tendril Pod, Coil Spine Shredder. So this is a one-shot um, weapon, I 
think. Let's try it. It does have... Uh... Oh, it's a charge weapon and all. Mm, can't do it. Where did I leave that one? Uh, that ain't it. Although, that's got a homing missile on it. That is not a bad sidearm at all. There it is. I did get a malfunction. Fabricator cost increase. I've got to get a parasite to fix that. Alright, that's easy enough. It's fine. I have three keys. It's the most keys I've ever had. use one right now. Got to yell no scope and spin 360 degree whilst using air horns. Thank you, Rune. Um, yeah, I've always had trouble with that for some reason. I'm not... Yeah, I'm not the best air horn player. It's such a shame. Is this a room that I've seen before? No, this is new. I wonder if that means we're going to get... Let's check it out. wonder if there is a... Cypher in here, since we haven't been here before. That's two rooms we haven't seen in, in one biome. That's dope. heal. No, it's a small one, but that's fine. Pure ownage? Do we remember pure ownage? Hell yes, we do. Pure ownage. This is a very effective killing weapon. Oh, what up, bro? No. So I'll backtrack a little bit once we get through all the... Oh, these guys. Okay, this is a problem. Okay, so there is also possibly a way up. Oops. key chest oh my god that is amazing 20% stagger for each attached parasite yeah yeah we want that I may have to take a teleporter up there let's have a look yeah I don't I think I've seen this zone before. Maybe I have now that I... Now that I'm looking at it, it just looks different for some reason. That's the way I came up. Take this one. There we go.
Lord of Rohan, how are you, my friend? Day has been exceptional. I slept in a little bit. Uh, today will be a longer day. Because I'm going to get let uh, let Miss Queeb sleep in a little bit tomorrow morning. So we'll probably go through till 10 a.m. PST. Thereabouts. Oh, I could have gotten up there just like that. But I actually want to get around... Any day you get to sleep in even a little is a good day. I couldn't agree more. There's something about sleeping in. It's like, it feels like you're breaking the rules. And sure, like, yes, you're technically wasting your day. But, still cool. Aaron, please, you've you've been exceptional throughout all of this and uh, literally couldn't do it without you. Super happy to have you as a mod. You're you're amazing. Um, and you just happen to be a nice person too. It's so weird. Okay, we've got a major problem here. All these enemies have spawned. Uh, I need to take out this tower over here first. Shit. Oh no, Andy's up already. I swear to Christ. This is real bad. Come on, Celine. Keep it together, man. Some of these fights can be really in intense. The ones where it says uh, area in lockdown, usually a bad thing. Still nearly dead, though. Okay, we got the big boy. I missed out on all the money from him, unfortunately. The, the money in this is kind of like the Noita, um, the Noita cash. You've got to get in there really fast, otherwise it just disappears. Bonus damage, armor piercing with shield breaker. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Armor piercing is one of the best modifiers. That was rough. That was rough. We definitely, uh, survivability isn't really my strong suit at the moment. Puppy snores? Oh, Miss Quib will tell you all about puppy snores. Um, puppy breath. The smell of a dog's ears. I don't know. Sounds weird to me, but that's the thing. All right, what do we got? Looks good. Damage and protection, I'm sure. Proficiency rate. Okay. And protection. Let's take protection, definitely. What's up, loot or die? Birthday month is going very well. Hope you're having a great day. Take that too. I gotta I gotta work on getting Celine back alive. 
Can't believe we lost my spaceman like straight away. It's so rough. Recycles a nearby weapon. Anti energy pulse. Alright, we can recycle a weapon. There's one over there. That's my... That's fine. I'm happy to recycle that. What ifs? Reduces repair efficiency? That seems like a really bad idea. Really bad idea. Oh yeah, always if you if you find uh, some kind of alien looking machine, especially if it's creepy um, and insect like, sticking your hand in it is definitely the way. Trust me, I've been there. You you want to do that? I'm just gonna run back out of here. If we can get there safely. Can we? Can we get there safely? Why did I... Oh my god, we got full damage. Okay, fine. Okay, good to know. I wouldn't have done that otherwise. This is another fabricator. What do we got? Child's Watch. Uh, yeah, yeah, we want that. Child's Watch is another uh, extra life. Try not to actually use this one, though. Still missing one cipher in this area, I think. So we need to find a room that I haven't been to yet. It's, it's all good. I'm sure, it'll come to me eventually. Side door down here. End game loops. Uh, would you call them end game? I mean, we have finished the game a couple of times. So I guess technically they're in game loops, but. Um, Alright, back up to full health. Thank God for that. Yeah, it's more about. Still unlocking things. See the little cube above uh, my 15 ether there? The green cube on the bottom right? That means we're holding a blueprint. And you can only carry one at a time. And the, the way you unlock that is to near the boss room. Unfortunately, this time it's after the boss room. Um, there's a machine that lets you lets you do that. This is an area we possibly haven't been to before because of that. We didn't have that upgrade yet. Uh, yep. Undiscovered item. Oh! Hell yeah! That's the second one of those we've gotten. Greatly increases max integrity, reduces repair efficiency again. 30% is harsh, dude. Go on. Okay. That's it. We are malfunction free now. So there's, uh, I think, three fragments of the sun shard. And we've got two. Somebody tell me there was three. 
Where is it? Here we go. Permanent equipment. Yep. One, two, and there's a, there's a third one. I don't know what the three does, but that will unlock more something. Plus 20, yeah, it is, it is plus dagger, you're right, yeah. So not, not the worst case. Repair efficiency is super important though. Unlock Sunny D. A uh, word of warning to anyone that does stream this game, if you haven't yet finished the game, uh, be very careful on the final cutscene. There's a copyright song. I had to mute that stream real quick. He may teleport through the door. Wouldn't surprise me if he did. They often do. The little... The tree guys. God damn you. Nobody's... Nobody's nice to me in this game. The spaceman wants to haunt me. Uh... Hell, even me as a, a kid is creepy as hell. All the enemies want to attack me, although I'm maybe in their home, so I get it. I get it. Another tree guy, and they got sticky shots. Is he behind me? Shit. Keep taking damage. I cannot wait to get leech shot. Leech shot is so broken. It's definite. I think it needs a nerf. As sad as it makes me say. Who uses a skull on the hat? No, don't get the reference there. There we go. Suit integrity increase. Very nice. Looks like we've got a secret or something. Oh, yeah. More monies. Key or weapon calibrator. Very nice. Still looking out for secrets. Uh, secret rooms will have a, a little glowing sphere on them. They don't show up on the map. you got to visually find them. Um, but then you drop down into this little chamber. And just like this. So this one's a squishy room. You run around and you just squish things. That's all you do. We'll probably pick up another parasite. Maybe pick up another malfunction or two while we're down here. Oh, Mitchell and Webb? I, I get the whole are we the baddies thing. But that's from Peep Show. Isn't it? I think it's Peep Show, right? Malignant Resin. You can cleanse it. I mean, it might as well. It's fine. Allows a key to be reused. Detaches after the first use. Triggers a single malfunction on death. Yeah, okay. Fine. Sounds good. Malignant Silphum. 
50% chance to find better salvage from hostels. Suffer damage from long falls. No, we're not going to be getting that. Cleanse that as well. What planet is this game on? It's Earth. You haven't looked outside lately? Okay. It's fine. No, I have no idea. She's zooming through. And uh, gets shot down. Ooh. Let's not risk it. It could be such a waste. Oh, she did give it a name? No, I can't remember. Oh, this is Hank, by the way. Hank, uh, Hank and his family are farmers here on this particular um, planet, and they're very friendly family. Oh, hell yeah. Run. Run fast. That's all we're going to get. Yep. Uh, side door. Oh, interesting. Okay, we will check that out. This is uh, Hank's cousin. Works with him on weekends. And that's a shortcut to the next biome, which we don't want to really take. So this is good. This is very good. By picking up uh, heals when you're at full health, you actually add to... See the three pips on the left-hand side of... Uh, of my health there? That's your suit's integrity or max health. Um, and then the three pips add to that once you fill those three pips. And so by picking up health when you're at max, you uh, automatically do that. Fabricator. I'll use it once. It's 75, then 125, then whatever. Was this worth it? No. No, it wasn't. Uh, and that's... That's essentially gold here as well, but we will pick up... Um, we will pick up a... Uh, what do you call it? A malfunction. Most likely, if we smash them. So, I'll just pretend they didn't exist. So we went down the secret. I think that's about it. Yeah. Not a bad room. Not a bad room at all. teleport room. Just check the statues for glowy eyes. Get a little bit more cash if you do that. Smash them. Okay, not good. Take down the tree guys. ASAP. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get 
Get the hell out of here. No freaking way. Okay, we're in the trouble again. I'm probably not going to survive this. That dash punch across the gap. I didn't expect that. Did not expect that at all. Oof. So it seems Shield Breaker by itself does not, um, doesn't do damage. It looks like that's only a Shield Breaker, not a Railgun on top. Oh man, that sucked. Let's see what weapons in here. Leech rounds, leech rounds. Mm. Increase repair efficiency by 20%. Suffer damage when picking up items. Proficiency gain disabled. Got to fabricate an item. Carbine. Critical hit rising pitch. Bonus damage. Yeah, we'll take that. We will take that for show. Man. So critical hit may be better than armor piercing right now, but armor piercing and high caliber are two that you really want to get together if you can. What you got for me? What's this? Shocking spring. God damn it. Come on. More squishies. Always worth taking these out. Let's have a double check in here. Pistols can get modifiers from other weapons. No, no shit. Okay. That's really cool. Maybe that's one of the reasons pistols are so uh, plentiful in the game. Yes! Extra life! Again, we do suffer damage on overload, so that means for the time being I can't reload my weapon. There's an item under the ground here. That sucks. Ah, classic Returnal. How does it work? The... No, it's it's a bug. I think it's stuck literally under the ground. There we go. So I can't reload my weapon for the time being. A Dreadbound with 4th Shard. I would like to learn 4th Shard. So, mm, it's not meant... Mm, no, we'll do it another time. Only the best and shiniest. Nice. Alright, where have we not been? Still need the melee upgrade for that, which doesn't seem to exist here. That's great. We could skip straight through to the next couple of biomes. I think I need a little bit more cash. Was there a challenge room? Yes, there is. Let's go do that.
Oh, fuck off. Video games, am I right? And actually, let's check over here as well. That is just the portal room. Yeah, that's through the desert, which I love. I love the desert biome. It's probably my favorite. All right, so we have two revives. Uh, hopefully I don't need them. I'm going to run around immediately and get all of the heals in the room. I'm sorry, was there an enemy in there? Yeah. Shit, don't do that. No reloads. What do we have to do? Collect a parasite. down. Grab that. Grab that. Damn it. Hollow Seeker. So unfortunately, the Hollow Seeker has an audio bug at the moment, which really sucks because it's one of my favorite weapons. Um, and I'm not going to put you guys through that because it's pretty rough. Wait, what? Oh, shit. What is that? Proximity mine? All right, half health. Doesn't look like there's any parasites in here. Here we go, round two. Not being able to reload really sucks. That was bad. I should not have meleeed that. Three. This is where it gets really stupid. Oh no. So the spaceman should revive us with most of our health, I think. There we go. Nope, a little bit. I wonder if that's child's watch then. Or maybe it's vice versa, I'm not sure. Okay, this isn't too bad, though. He's stunned. There goes all my extra lives. I'm in danger. Challenge rooms. Oof.
Cool. I think that was a success. That's good. That's very good. That's one of the one of the better upgrades in the game. There's something down here. Fabricator shifter. We can Okay. Dope, dope, dope. D20? Mm, D6. Well, more like a restock. Super insanely loud weapon. Yes, yes, it is. Yeah, that's the one that... Um, if there's too many bullets on screen, because it fires so quickly, uh, the audio engine just bugs out and goes absolutely batshit. All right, so we're going to go back to the shop. Not much of a choice here. We'll restock the shop. Maybe we'll get lucky there's another spaceman there. Can you turn down the sound effects? I mean, yes. The the sound in this game is half of the uh, half of the appeal, in my opinion. That it's really well done. Uh, is that it? That's the sh shop. That's the shop. Although the major heal might be a better use and we'll just keep the item. Yeah, yeah, that's probably a better use. Sound effects should be weapons and explosions. Oh god no, there's rain, there's walking around, there's the parasites that are stuck to us, there's ambient effects, there's echoes, there's enemies, like, no, there's, there's, yeah. All right, let's use this. Pick that up and uh, I'm not gonna fight the boss. I don't think I can. Is there such a thing as too many parasites? A little bit, yeah. House of Kentai, how are you my dude? Great to see you, man. We don't want to take that one. That's going to biome three. We want to take that one. Yeah, you can carry um, five. And if you pick up any more than that, that didn't hit. You, know, you and I both know that didn't hit. Um, a random one will get destroyed. Uh, which is a bit of a shame, actually. I wish there was a way to select which parasite got removed whenever you do that. It's one of those risk-rewards things, I guess. Day six of the subathon. Yeah, man, we still we still going strong. Twenty-one Isaac achievements left. Holy mackerel, Lula. Holy mackerel.
My favorite tainted? Probably, probably Lilith. It's weird. Um, but I like it a lot. Open a container. Suffer damage when collecting items. God damn. worth it. It does, Rohan. Yep, it certainly does. Greatly increases melee, cooldown, and dash. Can't do it. Suffer damage from long falls. Can't do it. God damn it. Oh, shit. That's one of the ones I've still got. Okay, fair. No reloads for you, my friend. Did they just straight up ambush me? They got a pincer move, huh? Thermogenic launcher. This guy requires a key. Obelite extractor. Hostiles that have injured you drop 50% more obelites when killed. Obelites is currency. That's your that's your Monet. Looks like we've got another couple of heals here. We want to go through that door over there. Do that first. Gotta watch out for turrets here. They're brutal so fast. Each area has sort of different types of turrets. These are some of the more threatening ones. Whoa! Let's backtrack a little bit. Let them follow me. I'd really like to do an active reload anytime soon. Righteous. Okay, 
pretty good. So this one has a bit of a jumping puzzle in it. We'll have to figure that out. Another chest there. I'm I'm really surprised that PS5 is as hard to get as it is right now. I I never expected that. I mean I know the silicon shortage and everything, but um, it's interesting. You you don't hear of X, Xbox being uh, being that. I mean sure it's probably still difficult to get too, but PS4 seems like it's overwhelming overwhelmingly more popular. So got one key to use there, so we won't do that just yet. In my opinion, opening uh, doors with keys is better than opening chests with keys. Critical hit, rising pitch, more damage, overheat limit increased, slower projectile speed, but we get tendril pod, which is pretty good. Another weird little uh, alternate fire attack there. Opening beers. I uh, can't say I relate. I, I'm not much of a drinker, and even if I were, beer would be the last thing that I would try. Need to get one more Parasite, huh? Maybe we'll get lucky. Parasite will drop from one of these chests. It's probably combat. Yep. Wow, that damage, though, is significantly higher. Weapon Harvester. Mm, yeah. I did try, um, I went to a fancy bar one day or, or like, um, gastro pub, I think they call them in, in the States. They're everywhere in the UK, but, uh, in the States it's, it's a new thing and it's very trendy. This one was in like Hollywood or somewhere, Culver City or some shit. And, um, uh, they had craft beers and there was one that everybody was raving about. It's like, yeah, this one's made with like oranges and you can really taste the citrus. And I had it and I was like, yeah, that's, that's beer. All right. So getting up there is, I think pretty easy, but you've got to do a chain of jumps. What if I could just jump from here if I angled it just right? <laughs> okay. Spaceship model. Uh, that means with more ether, we get increased protection up to a maximum of, I think, 25. All in all, pretty good area. Not bad. Blue moon. I've I've had that too. Um, yeah, I just. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Spaceship is even better. It's a longer dash. What What am I thinking of? Two way radio. Something. Yeah, we get a longer dash now, which is very good. Actually, very good for getting around. All right, let's move on. Ah, oh, damn. Here's 
that worth it? Absolutely not. Is pumpkin beer not good? I've, I don't know. I've never had that either. Shit. Red adrenaline reset too. Damn, damn, damn. Shame. Is that four of those I've got now? Yeah. Little temporary turret. Greenhouse Gaming, thank you very much for your subscription. Welcome. Hope you're having a great day, my friend. Weapon Harvester. There's sometimes a secret around here in this zone, I think, maybe. We'll look around outside as well. There might be more gold repositories. Repositories? No, deposits. Gold deposits, I think. That's it. Let's head left. Go through blue door. Thank you, my friend. Yes, birthday subathon month is uh, is still going. No dashing. Good work, creep. Good work. It's another item. What the hell does that mean? That's the third, the third thing. We've got all three pieces of, of the, 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 the thing. So there's two types of, of blue doors. The dark blue triangle doors are side areas. Usually do them first before moving on. And then there's the cyan doors, which we're about to go through on the map down here. Um, that's kind of the next area, but anything that's lit up means we haven't been there. Key, and I hear bad guys. Still really want to collect that other parasite. remember there's a weapon harvest there That's a pretty damn good weapon. We've made it here already? That seemed really short. There was only a couple of side areas, unless I missed something. Nope. Nope, we haven't missed shit. Wow. Let's 
Still got that. Look at the damage. Uh, first things first, before I die, let's go and deposit this, uh... Let's go and deposit this thing in the machine. I do love this boss, so epic. So you don't have to fight this one first, this boss first, which is really interesting. Translation complete. Does that mean I've I don't know. I don't know. I don't even understand how that works. Artifact. 25% chance to break shields with normal weapon fire. What? Okay. That's dope. Can we not get back over there? Oh, maybe not. I thought we could. Maybe we have... No, no, no. We have to go around. I think you jump clear over, yeah? Mm. No, we can't make that jump. Teleport back then. I thought you could. Every fourth shot. Well, I mean, who knows how that works. And I didn't get the teleporter first, did I? No, I did not. What I could do is open this now. Apex Sphere. Oh, lovely. Alright, now we use Nullification. Get rid of those. Uh, pick up that. Might as well use that. Uh, actually, let's wait until we have the chance to pick up a... Um... Resin. Because that will give me a shield as well. Thank you, Sal, for the gifted sub. Very kind. Now you get a beard? Yeah. Yeah, I'm very proud. <laughs> yeah, that is a very short level. This one's usually way, way longer on the outside. Um, it, there's still more than what we've been through inside this mountain. Let's see. 
God, that damage is so good. We've got a big, big boy incoming, though. Pretty, pretty good. Somebody's mentioned Fury before as well. They said it's worth a look. Is that water or void? No. That's definitely water. Dreadbound. Protection steel and stagger built in. Come on. All right, I'm feeling good. Uh, one thing we might do actually is go back out the front and spit more blaster, narrow more, rapid spitter. Hmm. Go back out the front and check out to see if there's any like side areas that need uh, need searching. Did I finish Final Fantasy X? No, <laughs> no, Ray, no, not by uh, not by a long stretch. We beat Unaleska last night though. Got the airship. I unlocked all of the airship uh, locations, so now it's a free for all. I think the first thing we do is go to. Uh, power up the sun crest um, so we can open some shit. Um, then explore side areas, then farm gear, then get stronger, then start catching uh, enemies. All while looking for the ultimate blitzball team. Alright, I'm feeling much better than than we were doing before. This is good. Got a decent chunk of protection now. And 800 bucks in the bank. Holy shit. Do we want to remove parasites? No. Hey, Matthias, what's up, dude? McQueezy? McSqueezy? Some of these zones are really tough as well. Gotta watch out in here. This actually looks like a new room, so we might find uh, a cipher in here. Oh, maybe it's not a new room, just with different traps, though. Oh, wow. Didn't even get to check that. Let's go back and check it again.
You called in sick today? You lost your lunch yesterday. Dude, don't ever be afraid to call in sick. Uh, God damn it. If you're, uh, if you're not well, you need to look after yourself. That's the reason people have sick time in the first place. And there's no shame in, in using it. Bosses that make you feel guilty for using it are absolute dicks. Seventy-nine percent. Our connection to our brethren was destroyed when we descended into the abyss, and although we felt whole upon return, our brethren feared us. Well, pretty uneventful room, really. Get chunked. Oh, I hear something bad nearby. Very bad. health again. Oh my god, it's a, it's finally happened. Secret room over there. Coil spine shredder, not a fan. Well, I hope there's an upgrade in the game that I haven't yet unlocked where um, flashbacks. Exclamation mark BRB if you want to see the clip. Um, an upgrade in the game that lets you see the contents of a secret room before you go in. Same thing happened in this room. What's up, Ovi Susu? Good to see you, man. Let's see if we can start spending some cash here. Increases repair efficiency. Love it. Repair efficiency is top tier stat. Um, because max health... Healing isn't the most common thing in the game. And max health will only get you so far. So when you do heal, you need it to really count. It, huh? Let's get the teleport in case we do need to come back here for whatever. Ah, there's a parasite over there.
Reduces alt fire cooldown. Suffer damage from long falls. guys are B A double D news. However, he's dead already. challenge room there mm. homing missile two burst fire burst fire pistol very decent actually attaches all parasites well we don't need that Streamlined chamber. Is that the faster shot? That's a lot less damage, though, isn't it? What is finisher? Let's check that out. Increases tether damage when hostiles are at low health. Okay, we'll keep it. It's like bonus damage upon bonus damage. And did I see a little thing in the center of the room? A little orb thing? Ah. Oh my god. And another one of these. That's right, I couldn't get to that one before. Rising pitch and hardened. No, I'm good. I'm good with our current weapon for now. Leech shot or nothing. Pretty great room, actually. going on here, huh? Like, at all. Should we do the challenge room? How long is a piece of string? Oh, this is 
a tough one. Hmm. Okay, that versus the challenge in biome by four, five is, uh, that was nothing. That was absolutely nothing. Attaching or detaching parasites repairs integrity. Sure, we'll take it. I'll probably get rid of that later. Surplus. It is. Uh, it's a. It's an amazing game. I'm really, really impressed. Mhm. Mm Spoiled resins will give you. Gen uh, will give you the uh, shield as well. Yep. Still not going to take them though. Wait. We have another blueprint. Did we get two on this run? Because we already took one through to the, the boss chamber, right? Oh, I could have sworn we did. What am I trying to get to? This is all side area stuff? Oh, I guess it is. So we need to go up. There we go. Why not taking the spoiled ones? Um. Oh wait, 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 wait! Spoiled is hurts you, right? I apologize. You're you're right. I was thinking um, malignant. This means that we can take him for free, because I have the shield. Nope, not that way. I'm sorry, I see, I see purple things and I just immediately assume that they're gonna give me a malfunction. Thousand bucks the bank too? Oh my god, we so rich. There's a chest up there. Looks like we can take a side path somewhere. Uh, 
That's a purple chest. Okay, that's fine. This weapon's freaking fantastic. Hey Raven, how you doing? Cycle 1 or Cycle 2? Cycle 1, only because the desert is here. It's my favorite level. I like the underwater zone. Um, it, it, some tough enemies down there and it's, you know, fun fights, whatever. But no, nah, nothing, nothing beats this in my, in terms of like atmosphere really good shop a you love to see it so we can take uh blade balancer nice we'll take that Gaining or fixing malfunctions gives you a random combat ability. Eh. At low integrity, gain weapon damage. Sure. So we'll take that and we'll take that. I might buy the large heal as well, just to keep it on us. And then reroll the shot. See what see what we get. We've already got one of those. I think we picked up. No, we don't. Energy blasts. Gain ten percent protection while alt fire recharging. Okay, well that's kind of crap. We'll take the snowman. Snowman? Yes. Yes, McQuig. We'll take the snowman. And uh, we'll take another one of these. Toto, what's up, dude? Good to see you, man. Day six. Well underway. Do we want an extra 25%? What I got? 17. Hmm. It's always busted. That machine, it just doesn't. I don't understand it. Return here once you're complete. Fuck off. What? You can only use it once per run? Does it refresh the 25% HP? Unknown. Unknown. I don't know. Winto. 11 months, my dude. Should, slowly but surely, you're going to lose the beard. I mean, look. I won't complain. That'll mean, uh, you know, for the next six months or so, my, my wife and my snakes and my dog will be uh well taken care of but um yeah not gonna lie if i wasn't a little bit n say i wasn't a little bit nervous about it
people aren't using it enough. Well, there's no, I think, I think it was even you that brought this up. There's no incentive to trade in 300 bucks for a single ether, right? Like, why would you do that? There's zero point. So they need to they need to rethink that element entirely, I I think. Thank you, Supercrat. It's okay. It's okay. We'll do it again. Again, I see a purple. I don't even bother reading it. Spoiled is good to pick up. Uh, to quote a very famous Twitch broadcaster, uh, I suffer too from humanitis. That wasn't an exact quote. He says it a lot better than I could. This guy is going to be a pain. He's like, no, you don't need, uh, you don't. Shit. That's far too big an arena for you, he says. We lost two two shields there. Sucks a little bit. I could have actually just run straight through, I guess, there, right? Maybe, maybe not. Didn't seem like it blocked off the area at all. Alright, this is definitely a new room. I haven't seen this one before. Good job, Celine. Everybody's counting on you. And that's the performance you give. I'm just I don't I don't even know what to say anymore. Uh, reduces protection by 10%. Auto repairs while at low integrity. And I think that'll be close to... No, that's only three. Ah, secret switch. Serrated projectiles. Still haven't learnt that. Thank you, Super Krant. Yes. Yes, I'm aware. See this, see this field? 
dash disables. And that's that's the reason I should have realized that was happening, but I did not. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll do this. I might use a large heal after this, actually. That's the one. All right, so we get an additional 18% protection now, which is nice. <laughs> Jump too high. I hear something forming in this room. That scary sound. Alright, I'm going to slow it down a bit. I seem to be rushing somewhat through here. Ah, shit. Not you. Anybody but you. Thank you for bringing... All the money my way, though. Appreciate it. Twenty five percent my butt. I hit that thing like eight times. Yeah, we still got turrets in here. That's again. That uh, takes me back to that. Uh, that's um, YouTube documentary that I saw, and I think it was a Mark Brown uh, thing, like Game Maker's Toolkit on statistics or or something. And he brought up XCOM, right? Because 99% chance to hit, where you miss all of the time. Plus, not only that, it's artificially changed by developers as well to falsify things depending on how they feel uh, a game should feel rather than exact science. It's cool stuff. Very interesting topic. It's the reason... Um, oh god, what was the game... played it recently you get hit you go down to one hp it doesn't kill you on a hit that should guarantee a kill um because they want that feeling of intensity it's a really cheap and easy way to convey that feeling i guess to the to the player wasn't risk of rain i can't remember what, what we played quite a lot of it but we that happened repeatedly because uh we knew the damage things were doing yeah i can't remember um i don't actually want to go that way yet Yeah, having a shield is so, so helpful. No, 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 no. One shot protection is is a specific thing. This was a different game that didn't have anything like that, and we'd get hit by something that should theoretically kill us, but it it took us down to one health instead. It happened time and time again. Every time it happened, I'm like, yeah, something weird's going on. It's better when you don't notice those things, though. I mean, the magic kind of happens.
two of them. He's coming through for sure. Yo! It's kind of weird. I don't know. I guess we found today's raid message. Thank you very much, Rexbot, for your input. What's up, V-Rex? Good to see you, man. Thank you very much for uh, bringing your chaps over here. Playing a little bit of Returnal today. I don't know if you've seen this game. I know you were asking about it on Twitter, but it is dope as hell, man. Great game. Believe it or not, the robot said that. Oh no, I, I, I've seen that robot make words up before. Yeah, I, I get it. <laughs> Holy shit, Winto, dude, ten gifted. Thank you so much. How many hours? Well, we've been going. The stream has only been down twice since uh, Friday, and that's because of the forty-eight hour limit. Um, but yeah, we've been, we've been going strong. Oh shit. I'll have to, speaking of, we're at 3829. I'll probably have to reset the, the stream before, before I get off tonight. But yeah. Miss Queeb, you're going to be fine at Isaac. Ask B-Rex. Isaac's easy, right? Just don't get hit. Wrap hop. There you go. The main character's a child. I mean, it's a cartoon game. It's a game for babies. Platinum Isaac without use without looking. That's that's my guy right there. Let's go see Hank and his, uh, his family. Oh no, that's right. I wiped them out already. I'm sorry, Hank. I'm still, uh, I'm still in my 400s in terms of unlocks. I've got so much of that game to go. Unknown artifact. Hell yeah. What do we got? Silver lattice. Become immune to slowdown effects. Okay. Don't mind if I do, to be honest. Iron Gamer, what's up, dude? Good to see you. Uh, this run's going quite well. It started shaky, as most of them do, but, uh, but no, we're doing great. We're heading to the third biome right now. I like the third biome too. It's it's a cool zone. Um, but it is uh, supremely difficult because of the enemy types that are here. You've got drones, rocket drones specifically, and they, they just fuck you up all the time. That's the shortcut area. Second run through? Mm, this will be my th third time through here, I think. Uh, what we are looking for are ciphers specifically and anything that we haven't discovered before. So like any room that I haven't, that I don't recognize is probably a place that uh, has something to unlock. One die, they both die. <laughs> I get that reference. How 
do I get that? Oh, it's a bit of a risk. I'd rather not take the full damage if I can avoid it. It's all good. Did that hit me? No, it missed me. Thank God for that. Nope, that definitely should have hit me. Um, I do have resinous shields. And that's the only shield I've got at the moment. Uh, we got we got lucky there. It even sounded like she got hit. Maybe, maybe we had iframes because of melee attack. I don't know. Well. Shit. This is where we get, get hit loads. That one hit. That one hit me. I think we want to go through here, right? Yeah. There is a heal up the top. If we can... That was lucky. That was super lucky. Fair, fair. I'm sorry, didn't mean it. Wow. I mean, too little, too late, maybe? It's one of the better upgrades in the game. Yeah, now I just don't care. <laughs> it's fine. Could use my little... My little healy doodad. So this is interesting. We've got the... So what I want to do here, I want to sort of angle upwards. To get the height on that, and then, yep, get up here. Uh. the heal? Where was the heal? Ooh. Wait, where the hell are we? Oh, that's continuing on. Okay. Oh, we got a little bit of lore we haven't picked up yet. little radio signal. How do I even... See if I can angle at that. Hey, we're good. We came in here. Gotta go through the, the transporter room. See what we make here. It's not... No, no, no. It's not one way. Um... It just means that that's the way you should be going.
not consuming items is broken. Yep, we had a run like that and it was unbelievably broken. So, so powerful. I do have stagger, yeah. And we have three parasites, so that's uh sixty percent stagger. Despite the destruction throughout this area, the buildings have mostly withstood time's erosion. Whatever the reasons for the conflict, it would appear that this was the high water mark of mutual annihilation. I almost wish I could go back. If only to experience their society across the planet before it collapsed under its own weight. Alright, so that's the best way to do it. Before the turrets are up, take the shields out that way. Uh, so, yeah, shoot them from a distance. You get the shield down and then... And in fact, with this weapon, I could probably lay a few on the ground. Oh, it's killing it anyway. Before it's even up. That's new! I think I haven't seen that before. I thought it had to be up to take damage. Oh, well, no complaints. Uh, let's have a look. So we've got a locked door through there. A couple of chests up and left. Hmm. This is, this is definitely a room I haven't seen before. Oh, goody. Yeah, the minimap shows where things are. Not, not secrets, but items. Um, unfortunately, when you go to the big map, that's all taken away from you. Um, the only thing it does show is the chests, but uh, it doesn't show little items, which is weird to me. Because that just means you have to switch between the map and... Uh, RN Gamer, dude, thank you very much. 10 gifted subs, you absolute legend. Um, it's, it's not a fun thing having to switch between, you know, the, the maps for, for no reason. Weapon Harvester. Hmm. This is an interesting room. I've got all of the upgrades, but for some reason... Is there something I... Oh, hold up. High caliber armor piercing. Oh shit. That's that's a weapon. Yeah, I gotta do it. What are we at? 906? 
I think it's gonna happen, Ms. Queeb. I'm sorry. Let's take this real quick. Uh, how do we get there again? Up here. Major man, dude. Another 10 gifted. Oh my god. Miss Queeb, look out, look out. She's laughing. Specifically for Ms. Queeb. She doesn't want to play. I've explained to her. I, I, I think Ms. Queeb's very different than me um, when it comes to failing in games. I don't. I don't really care, right? Like that's part of the the process. But uh, Ms. Queeb is a different breed, and yeah, she she takes things a little bit differently than me. Has she practiced the game? Oh no. No, never once played it. She knows there's tarot cards in it. So it's going to be uh, a tutorial of sorts as well. We're going to learn as we're going to learn together, Miss Quib. Uh, this weapon is outstanding, by the way. Fixes or prevents one malfunction, detaches afterwards, increases malfunction probability. It's fine. We lose it once it's gone. Why not? Why not use it? Did we take that portal? Don't believe we did. Straight across. Let's double check. Or maybe that's how I got here in the first place. Dreadbound. Finisher 2. Nah. I think that's it, right? Yep, we go on now. Wait, there was water there? Oh, in the middle? No, 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 we, we went down there already. It's not water. So we've got a heal here. Another couple of items. Looks like some golds. Malignant resin, no thank you. Uh, there's a something here.
12 out of 15. Cold blooded. I can't. I can't recommend this game enough. If you have a PlayStation, obviously that's the first boss is buying a PlayStation. Um, but it's it's worth it if you can get your hands on it. Oh, I'm out of keys. Bummer. Do I end up going to bed, Raven? I mean, I, I sleep every day. Um, so, because I want to let Miss Queeb sleep in a little bit, she's going to be taking over the stream when I go to bed tomorrow. Um, I'm going to stay awake till probably 10 a.m. tomorrow. And then I'll sleep. I'll get regular sleep. I leave the stream running, but then we add the time back on so that uh, it's fair for everybody. Right, so we need a couple of keys, huh? A healthy subathon. Yes. I mean, I'm still streaming... I don't know, 15 hours a day, whatever, but... Um, but no, it's, it's not bad at all. So to all those people who are worried about me eating well and... Well, eating... Okay, so I snack... I snack around a bit. Guilty. Uh... But yeah, I'm, I'm looking after myself. It reminds me of a commercial. We have this uh, frozen dinner company in Australia called McCain. Was it McCain's? Anyway. Um, the ads were, were always... They had this campaign where it's like... This, this girl, she lives at home. She's moved out. She's going to college. Whatever. And she calls her parents and she's talking to them. And... And the parents are like, oh, we just worry about you. Um, we want to make sure you're looking after yourself. And she responds, I am, mum. I am looking after myself. Ah, uh, McCain, you've done it again. Retarget. Kill site. Shame, of, shame about the noise bug with that gun. Good job. There's a hole there. Um, no, I'll have to restart. I'll probably have to... Let's do it again. I'll probably have to reset the stream. Um, even before before I... Yeah, it, it's, it's all good. I'll keep my eye on the clock. Can you stop that, please? Celine, you're going to die literally just by falling into holes over and over again. God damn it, Celine. You're a scientist. Okay, I just unloaded on that guy. Not a single one broke his... There it goes. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll just out of range then. And we're not close enough at the moment. Shop time. 550 bucks. We've got a large heal. Might get another one of those. Small heal. Increases weapon damage by 10%. Max integrity by 25. Take one of those. The red dash. It just indicates that it's a longer dash. It doesn't do any damage or anything like that.
Can I withdraw more money? Yes. I might buy the small heal as well then. So I got two large heals, that's pretty dope. High caliber too. Oh shit, I didn't even realize we've got a more advanced version of high caliber on here. Oh wow. Okay. So this is one of those instances where we're unlocking the second version of it, but the first version isn't present yet. Because high caliber slows your shots down, right? Oh, that's super exciting. High caliber is amazing. It's really good, uh, really good perk. Weapon mod, whatever. Alright, which way are we heading? Got no keys. Blue door over there. Which we can... I'd like to get to it. Do I need to swim there? Or is there a... Oh, hold up. Only the previous version on alt fire. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we might need to swim there. Nice, nice. Ah, there we go. Oh yeah. God, we found like four of four four blueprints this run. This is dope. What you got? Parasites? Ah, uh, shame about that negative side there. That's that I can't do. Nah, I'm good. Harder to fix requirements. Hmm. can be really tough unless we just don't take them free pepper yeah yeah you, you'll see a lot of uh things you may be familiar with a lot of aliens a lot of uh a lot of metroid prime yeah there's there's a couple of games that it's very or takes inspiration from. Okay, this isn't too much of a pain. Pretty easy boss. Well, champion, whatever you want to call it. So I don't know about a melee build. There are a 
few items that uh, definitely look like they lend themselves to a melee build. Like there's one where if you kill something with melee, uh, two bolts come out of the uh, appear and then target the next like couple of enemies, whatever. There's a couple of things that, that kind of fit a melee build, but getting close to enemies in this game is not a good thing. Archerus, five gifted subs. Hey, Miss Queeb. We got a we got another five gifted. Just uh, just FYI, letting you know there. Sorry, it's not much, dude. Come on, man. And I've, I've said this a million times, um, but I get just as much out of content creation as you guys, so I, I appreciate you all being here. Parasite that prevents malfunctions. No. No, we lost that. It detached a long time ago. What's this? Oh, just a puddle. Small puddle. Survivor killing blow detaches afterwards, greatly reduces max integrity on detach. I mean, surviving a killing blow. Better than dying, I guess. Although that might be the first to detach, which would be bad, bad. I'll take that. Oh, we got it. High caliber too. Oh, these guys are keen, huh? Shit! Was close. Sit integrity increased and got that shield that I've been desperately looking for. Come on closer, my dudes. Uh, P.S. You shouldn't be able to do this, by the way. Bummer. Lost that shield. 
guess that's what happens when you when you cheese the game a little bit. All right, so there should be some switches. Oh, yeah. Wow, man. Tough room. Shield got back. Nice. No wakas? That's something an Australian would say. Uh, we just so happen to be playing a game with a waka in it. So one waka. Shit. God damn it. Yep, there it goes again. And drones, man. Such bullshit enemies. And so many of them. Sucks. Look how much health I just lost. So ridiculous. Dropped obelites last longer. Alt fire cooldown increased by five seconds. Okay. All right, let's go on. Oh, good. Where is it? It's gonna be one of those chain chain grabby guys with the big heads and the machine gun. Yep. a new move. I hadn't seen that before. I don't normally get that close to him if I can avoid it. Dead Space was so dope, dude. It's like one of my favorite games of all time. first. Blue door first. The old loading screen almost got me. Can I get up here? Yes, I can. Okay. Oh, shit. That's why. Got another one of these.
If X, then Y. 20 gifted subs. <laughs> Thank you, dude. <laughs> Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Let's pop a let's pop a big heal here. Sooner than we thought. Yeah, I'm gonna have to set up the other microphone. takes us through to the last boss however we have a challenge room obviously we've got to do that first uh so back we go does that take us through to the let's check just want to be double sure here no nope, something else High caliber, man, so good. Metroid Hunters. Wasn't that one of the first games or even a demo that was that came with the DS when it got released? Oh shit. Nullification sphere. Oh really, Raven? Oh that'll be so good. That's good shit, man. Yeah, that sound bug. I can't do it anymore. Not for a broadcaster, that's that's bad. Right, that is the way to the yes, that is the way to the final boss. Still got no keys, can't open that. Hold up a second, where the hell are we? Oh, it's taking it. Wait. Oh, you can fix it by shutting down your PS5? I didn't even know that. I just thought it was something that, that you couldn't really help. How did we get over here? That way. Wait, what? I'm going to go back to the challenge room. Straight through. Over here. Yep. There we go. Wait. Nope, that ain't it either. That's something else. Oh, okay. How many items do we have? We got room. We got room. I think I still have the parasite that heals, right? I think that heals at low health, because we're probably going to need that for this boss.
Uh, hi, for Stifer X. Thank you very much. 14 months, my dude. You absolute legend. How are you, man? Okay, we want to go up. Uh, how to up, though. No, 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 we're not, we're not finished Final Fantasy X by a long shot. So much to do still. How the hell do I get up there then? Is it like a... Ah! Got him. Let's have a quick look around here before we go in. There's never a guarantee you're going to finish a challenge room alive. Definitely one of the hardest components of this game. Uh, malignant chests. Shame. This one's free, though. And a statue with yellow eyes near the challenge door. Very good, very good. Okay. Nice, nice. Yeah, they haven't popped their heads up yet. Well, that one guy has, but it's fine. So late. I think this, this, for a scientist, she's got a huge problem with gravity. It's like she doesn't think it exists or something. I don't know. More hostiles incoming. Amen. They explode.
so many. Why so many? Might be it. Lockdown lifted. Coil spine shredder. Sub zero pulse. Unleashes an explosion that freezes nearby hostiles for a short duration. Anime Daddy's here? What's up, AD? How are you, my man? How was your uh, your stream? It was lovely to pop in a little bit this afternoon and, and see you. Got a key. Uh, what? It's bugged out. It's bugged out. Okay, we're good. So I used my, I did use my uh, big heal. Let's go back to the store then. Where the hell was that? Oh, I don't even remember. Is that it? No, there's no fabricator there. It was a weird shop, right? Like it was in an out of, out of the way place. Max is 300. I have Let's go. Celine once again disappointing me. Okay. Oh, fuck off. Where? I don't know if I got iframes or what there. I think I've got. Yeah, it's fine. <gasps> What's this? 
There is more than three. Uh, where's my permanent? So now I have four. They look like six to me. I've eaten enough pizza in, the, in my time, so we need two more then. That's what I thought. People are like, yeah, the, there's three of them. There's more than three. Win or lose, we've gotten a bunch of unlockables during this uh, during this go round. Nearly dead, Celine. Oh crap. Payload rounds, two. It's almost worth taking just to learn that. Rising pitch as well. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Nice try. Nice try. Very good, Celine. So how do I get to these places? Just keep going up, I guess. Lasers seem excessive. Yeah, some jerk designed them. To protect... To protect all the stuff. Oh my god. Let's try that again, shall we, Celine? Got a key? I've got a key. We got two locked doors. This one looks good. Not amazing.
That's the other one over there. Need another key for that. Probably isn't one here. That's what I wanted. Good. Go up again somehow. There's stairs. Yeah, rising pitch is definitely worth it. I doubt we're going to learn payload rounds before, like, the fight, but... I don't know, you never know. Appreciate it, Rune. Correct, yep, that's exactly the method used to, to build it. Much like Spelunky, I guess. Predetermined or preset um, snap in pieces, and then they just place them all together, and then enemies and loot is sort of put in there. That might be a key. Oh, we have Tendril Pot already. God damn it. Jesus, come on, man. Oh, yeah, you got to take the stairs, bud. Something, maybe a couple of heels somewhere underneath here. Ah, there we go. I see him. Is it 9 p.m.? Mm. 
Okay. We're about as ready as we're ever going to be here. Oh nice. Oh nice. This is even better. We get the uh, the unlock early. Three items to unlock. That's pretty dope. Adrenaline Fury. At max adrenaline gain 100% melee damage and minus 50% melee cooldown. Okay, well we're not going to be able to do that. So that's cool. It's, at least it's unlocked. Hey Todd Howard, how are you man? Hope you're having a great day. That melee thing? No, 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 that's not the one I was thinking of. I mean, that would... Uh... Hey, thank you very much for your resub, my friend. Three months. Now, the one I was thinking of does... Um... Uh... You, you kill something with it and two bolts shoot out of you towards the nearest enemies. This is a very long fight. I mean, it's not Unaleska long, don't get me wrong, but... Relatively speaking, it's long. No, you're supposed to jump that. Actually, we're making short work of this. The boss with the shotgun? No, I have not. No. Phase three sucks for the shotgun. Oh, I can imagine. Look at it melt though, holy shit. Yeah, damage is incredible here. Ooh, almost a bad jump.
Oh no, I'm falling. Shit. This guy's going down. Was I too close? He didn't like that so much. No! Good job, Celine. Oh no. There you go. Piece of cake. <sighs> we... 69 out of 80. Okay. We just leave? Am I going the right way? Hmm. Oh, yeah, there's another machine we need to use, right? No? Oh, it's the, it's the, that, that is a machine. There you go. So that was just the first half of the game, essentially. When you come back here and now you're on levels 15 through 30. Hey, Malarthy, how are you, man? Astro received my signal. Then... That's it. <sighs> yeah, just relax. <sighs> nothing, nothing to stress about. My shadow. You were how I escape.
Is this new? Might be. Don't you play that song. Same ending, I think. That was weird. Then the game starts over. This is a brand new random run from 15 onwards. Um, and then there's more to collect in here. Stuff we haven't yet unlocked, etc, etc. Uh, we won't be doing that now. What I will be doing, two things. Um, since I'm going to be going through till about 10 a.m., which is uh, 9.30, that's two and a half hours. It's about 12 and a half hours from now. Um, I'm going to restart my stream now. So we'll switch back over here real quick. I will disconnect. You'll see me again in, I don't know, 30 seconds. Give me a moment. 